healthy, organic, fresh fish, robust, mouth-watering vegetables, all from your home. It's called aquaponics. This brilliant, self-sustaining protein and veggie system is perfect for year-round growing. Know exactly where your food is coming from. Aquaponicsource.com is the one-stop shop for all your needs. Fish, fish food, plumbing, full systems, classes, and more. Learn to build your own system. Go to aquaponicsource.com for a free guide to aquaponics. That's aquaponicsource.com. Are you excited about the World Wide Web? Do you want a place where you can share your ideas and express yourself? Well, dial up your modems and stream on down to the GCN Live Community Forum. Lots of radical features await you there. Wow, Internet guy. I am so glad I went to the GCN Live Community Forum. You too can discover why the World Wide Web is awesome. Just go to GCNlive.com slash forum. That's GCNlive.com slash forum. I'll see you in cyberspace. Space. Friend at GCN Live on Diaspora and Cross.tv. Talk Live. This is Free Talk Live. You're invited to join us here. And you can bring up anything that you want. With you in the studio tonight, it's Ian. And Mark. So I want to jump into some audio to start things out here tonight. I teased... Oh, there's music again. I teased uh, this last night. And we talked a lot last night about drug dogs. Specifically, uh, them being employed uh, on roadside searches and what the courts think about them, which seems like the courts just think they're peachy, peachy keen, even though there's all kinds of questionable I think the, the, the courts have a problem with drug dogs, too. It's just that they're not willing to stand up to police. You heard the police captain or whatever he was call in, the guy with 35 years of uh, law enforcement experience call mm-hmm. in and say, you know, I think everything's just fine with drug dogs. And nobody has the guts to say anything to police, it seems like. Well, uh, I don't know if the courts are not fine with it because they've been ruling in favor of them. So they certainly could stand up to the police if they wanted to. Odds are good that, you know, they uh, as Supreme Court justices will probably get professional courtesy regardless of what they do to uh, the police. And, And what I mean by professional courtesy is if the police know they're pulling over a Supreme Court justice, they'll probably get a pass. Just just guessing going out on a, a little bit of a limb there. So I wanted to play audio from John Bush and Catherine Bleich. We've had both of them on the show a number of times over the years. They're great activists who really are liberty folks down in the Austin, Texas area. We were honored to be guests at their uh, their bookstore, Brave New Books, which they just took over about a couple months ago. They were here most recently on the show as part of a Bitcoin bus tour. They came up here, if you recall, and uh, they, got, they got a school bus that was being sort of handed down to them by the unschooling folks. Unschool bus is what it used to be. Now it's a Bitcoin bus. And so they went on a, a Bitcoin tour, living on exclusively Bitcoin as they rode across the country. Very, very cool stuff. They're great activists. Uh, but the more you drive around, the closer you are to getting pulled over. Yeah, the more, yeah that's true. The more miles you put on a car... You're getting one mile close each time to uh, closer to getting in a uh, up close and personal interaction with some member of the police department in your area or the state police or somewhere else. And they were pulled over uh, recently in Austin. They put the video up on YouTube because that's what you're supposed to do when you get pulled over is you record video of the scene. Now, some would argue that you shouldn't put the video up immediately if you're being charged criminally because then the police can uh, sort of write their report based on what happened in the video, as opposed to the police writing their report on what they remember and possibly getting something wrong. So there's an argument to withhold the video itself from release, and I understand that argument, and I you know, I don't blame somebody for not releasing a video immediately as a result of that. But in this case, I believe they did release it pretty much immediately yep. right afterwards. It certainly helps. They're bad defendants. It certainly helps garner attention to your cause. In this case, I believe it was just some sort of minor traffic ticket. But the instructive part of the video is how they respond to these police. It's nighttime in Austin on Guadalupe Street, which I believe is one of the big main drags uh, down there. In fact, you can even hear like drums being played in the background. Austin's a very music-oriented uh, city. So I'm going to play this audio, and I have cut it up a little bit. It's still it's still a little on the long side. It's about seven minutes after I've edited it. It was around 11 or 12 minutes uh, to start. So I took out a lot of the, the down times, and there's certain parts where their kids are in the, the car with them. So it's kind of hard to hear the kids, but you should be able to make out uh, what they're saying because, you know, what, what is it they say? Out of the mouths of babes. 
uh, some of the most astute observations about the police coming from the youngsters, who I don't think are much more than three. I, I mean, I don't feel like they've had the kids for more than three or four years. I think that sounds right. So I think there are two kids in the car with them, and John and Kat, they get pulled over by what they believe is one police officer. They actually realize there turns out there was a second one on the scene, and you'll hear that happen here. Let me jump right in. Yes. Hey, would you mind rolling your window down all the way, please? I think it's fine how it is. I'm sorry? I think it's fine how it is. Okay. Do you know why I pulled you over? I don't. Is there some okay. sort of emergency? So that's the first thing, right? This is something we talked about last night with the whole – there was actually somebody who called in to ask the question about, well, what about not rolling a window down? And they're, in this video, they are successful in employing that particular tactic. Uh, it can be risky you know, because you are – at any time, you could be dealing with a rogue cop who could use any excuse whatsoever to commence a beatdown on you. The uh, idea of not rolling the window down is is that you don't give them sort of the uh, uh, the opportunity to say I smelled marijuana in the car. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I have never they I have could no still say that. Yeah, they could still say that, and I have no intention of using this tactic. It seems to me to be uh, overly combative. I don't want to set the tone for the interaction with the law enforcement officer mm -hmm. early on to be one of uh, a combative one. I'd like to have a nice interaction. If that's what's going, if if that's what that officer wants to have, if it's they, not a nice interaction, they forced you to pull over yeah, at the threat have, of violence. Absolutely, um, they may be nice about it, but uh, at its face, this is a violent interaction that is based on a threat. They could be telling me one of my lights is they out could or be. something, and that would be and really. They can tell me that through the cracked window. Th they could. I, I'm all I'm saying is is that I have no intention of employing this tactic. It seems overly combative to me. I don't always employ it. Uh, if I'm dealing with an officer that is unfamiliar, I would be more likely to employ it because I would rather have that level of uh, sort of d protection between me and this potentially dangerous character that is at my car window. I don't know who this person is. I don't know what they're going to necessarily do. Not to say that a, uh, you know, s a, a window pane is going to protect me in any way, shape, it or isn't. form from some psychopath. Uh, but it certainly would prevent the officer from reaching in and, let's say, popping the lock uh, mechanism on the door and opening the door. And that has happened to you, yep. uh, that as has, I recall. Uh, no, I don't think they popped the door on me. They popped a door on Derek J. And in his case, uh, he had his door was unlocked, and they just popped it right from the outside. You can actually see that happen in the Derek J. Victimless Crime Spree trailer, and that's actually one of those scenes that made it to the cutting room floor. It doesn't actually appear in the movie, but it appears <laughs> in the trailer. Anyway, uh, so yeah, your mileage may vary with this particular tactic, but in this case, uh, John and Kat get away with it, and the officer just sort of moves on past it, right? Okay, they're not going to roll the window down, so I'll just keep going. It's expired. As of January. Can you find her up on my phone? Can you have 9? Uh, I don't think I need to answer that question. What was the question? Where are you headed tonight? <laughs> it's a common question uh, from the police. Where are you yeah. coming from and where are you headed tonight? This is a way to get people talking. Uh, it's a way to get you know you in the driver's seat to admit to something that might cause more reasonable suspicion for continued detention or perhaps uh, some probable cause for a search or whatever. Yeah, I don't have any good um, I've you know this has been asked before and the, the thing I prefer to have are sort of light, funny answers that don't give answers to questions like this. Hmm. The best one I've been able to come up with is out, mom, and I'm not telling you when I'm coming back either. <laughs> um, but I don't think that that's going to go particularly well. <laughs> so you haven't tried that one? Then. No, no. I well, nobody's. They're not going to ask me that generally. I mean, it, it's just yeah. Why? Because you have a certain look. You think? I t it tends to be that way. Mm -hmm. Or you can just you know, like you say home. You know, like, what's the problem with going home? Well, you know, if you answer their question, Mark, they're going to ask you more questions. Um, oh, yeah? Where are you coming from before you go home? Were you at your drug dealer's house? <laughs> <laughs> Where were you? That. Were but, you at your drug dealer's house? Like, this is the they're not going to ask that, but that's what they want to know, right? Like, they want to know, they, wanna, they want you to say something that could give them more reason to hassle you further. The thing that I've used, and I don't think it's great, is... Where's home? Um, the thing that I well, you can you read the driver's license? That's not Is necessarily it clear? home. If you give a different address than what's on your license, you just walk, you've just talked yourself into a, another charge. Are you trying to talk me into another charge? That's a question that uh, you could ask, but right. Um, 
that su- suspicious sounding question, right? Well, like uh, the thing that I said is is that um, I'm not answer- I'm not answering questions tonight. That's a good one. And that's just it, right? Like I just say, I'm not answering questions tonight. Yep. It sounds like something that an attorney would say. Absolutely. That will set off the the red flag with the cop in a good way. It'll let that cop know this person knows their rights. This person is telling me they know better than to answer questions. And I think that's one of the things that John and Kat are doing very, very well here is John is, you know, she's starting to prod with these questions and John just shuts it down. I don't think I have to answer that question. Right. That's what he says. Yeah. 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 Am I under any obligation to answer your questions? No, of course not. Did he say that? No. uh, I think he might say something similar to that here in a moment. We'll play more from the audience side of the road in uh, Austin, Texas, Guadalupe Street, two cops versus to Liberty Activists and their two kids. We'll hear the kids chime in here in a little bit. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. If you want to comment, uh, add in what, you know your suggestions. How would you have done things differently? It's Free Talk Live. If you could choose any school in the country to earn your college degree and be on your way to a better life, would you choose one the Wall Street Journal recognizes as producing some of the best qualified graduates? Or one the Princeton Review ranks as a leader in undergraduate education? Or maybe one the U.S. News & World Report names among the most innovative schools in the country? Now, you don't have to choose. At Arizona State University, we want to help you learn to thrive in life. At ASU Online, we offer over 100 graduate and undergraduate programs on your time and schedule. You receive the exact same curriculum, degree, and prestigious faculty as the on-campus students, and we're universally recognized as one of the innovators in online learning technologies. For information, call 1-800-595-9736. U.S. News & World Report ranked ASU in the top 10 best places to earn an online degree. So learn to thrive with ASU Online. Call today at 1-800-595-9736. That's 1-800-595-9736. Awesome health can no longer be attained from food alone. Since the advent of chemical agriculture in 1945, U.S. soils have become progressively more demineralized and infertile. Human health has correspondingly declined. To reverse this trend and to even have a chance at feeling great requires sophisticated supplementation to make up for what is not in our foods. When our bodies are mineral deficient, they require more protein. We suggest you begin with One World Way. One World Way is a new and improved protein power food. Our technological enhancement yields us a whey protein that produces phenomenal results. All case histories indicate that your body functions in a more youthful manner. One World Way not only supports detoxification, building of lean muscle, and immunity, it strongly supports your energy and sense of well-being. One World Way tastes delicious and comes in single servings. Call 888-988-3325 or visit oneworldway.com. That's One World. W-H-E-Y dot com. Hi, this is Walt Augustinowitz. I'm the founder and CEO of ID Stronghold. By now you've heard our commercials about wallets that protect you from electronic pickpocketing. Ten years ago, I created a way to protect my own cards from prying eyes after government officials started talking about issuing a national ID card with a built-in radio chip called RFID. I felt having to broadcast my personal information was an invasion of privacy. Soon after, it was also announced that credit cards, debit cards, U.S. passports, hotel room keys, and even transit passes would all soon incorporate RFID. It was then I formed ID Stronghold to share my inventions in blocking RFID signals with the world. There are a lot of misconceptions out there today about RFID. I encourage everyone to get informed and get protected. Please go to IDStronghold.com and get the facts and the wallet, sleeves, or badge holders you need to protect your personal financial data. You'll be pleasantly surprised that through our direct sales model, you won't pay more than other comparable unprotected wallets. It is as though the protection is free. Visit IDStronghold.com today. Mike Stennerson for Midas Resources. At no time in history have precious metals been more important, certainly not in my 22 years in the industry. The dollar has lost over 90% of its value in the last 60 years. No fiat currency has ever survived the government printing presses. Ours is not immune. The time is now to be proactive. 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. Anything tied to the dollar is at risk. CDs, annuities, 401ks, IRAs, stocks, bonds, you name it, so decide. Do you want to leave a legacy of wealth or debt for your family? The choice is yours. Call me at 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. That's 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. Be proactive, not reactive. Call one 800 
686-2237, extension 116. Now more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. People in Durango tonight. <laughs> We are back with more Free Talk Live, the live Sunday edition. Just dial on in toll-free right here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Playing some audio of people flexing their rights. We talked a lot last night about police pullovers and made some suggestions, some concrete suggestions as to what one can do in that particular circumstance. And, of course, a, a favorite question is am I free to go? That's that you know. If there's one question that you can remember to ask, because this stuff takes practice. No, it does. If there's one question that you need to remember in a police encounter, whether it's on foot or whether it's in a car, is it's am I free to go? That's the number one, in my opinion. Now, you're welcome to share your thoughts here. 855 450 free. Uh, of course, you're under no obligation to answer any of the police's questions. You generally do, again, this isn't legal advice, it's just my experience. Uh, you generally do need to identify yourself if you're the driver. If you are a passenger, there's different rules in different states. Some states will require you, if a uh, officer asks you for identi- to identify yourself, that you at the very least, give them verbally your name and birth date. But you are under, as a passenger, generally no legal obligation to actually carry or hand over any identification. You can also uh, an um, answer with questions, too. When they you know, say something to you, for instance, when they ask you for identification, you say, I'm not driving the vehicle. What do you need my identification for? Sure. Or, and then, yeah. you know, then, then you're putting it back on them. Why are you asking for this? Are you on a fishing mission to just be able to, I mean, is this the reason for the stop? You stopped us all to just kind of see who was in the car? So in uh, in this case, the stop was uh, just a kind of a standard traffic stop. They were, I think, it was an expired registration. The cop says at the very beginning, we're going to continue with a family uh, exercising their rights as much as they can, at least uh, on the side of the road. Yeah, I'm holding in my hand the solution to uh, Obamacare, at least for my family. Uh, so there's a movement in healthcare today in this country. It's a movement of people that are ready to stand up and take charge of their healthcare. It's people like you and me, who are tired of paying too much for health insurance and getting too little. People who are standing up for their values and letting their conscience make decisions based on timeless principles. It's a movement that's sweeping the nation, and you need to be part of it. Liberty HealthShare is leading the movement of people who are looking for an alternative to traditional health insurance. Liberty HealthShare is a healthcare sharing organization of people who are sharing the cost of healthcare in an easy and efficient way. You can choose your own doctor, choose your own hospital, live out your values in healthcare, join the movement. It's change, um, it's it's change healthcare for good. It's libertyhealthshare.org. So libertyhealthshare.org, and you can give them a call at 855-58-LIBERTY. So um, first, check out their website at libertyhealthshare.org, and then give them a call at 855-58-LIBERTY. All right, let me get back into some of this audio here from John Bush and Kat Bleich. Their family pulled over at nighttime in Austin, Texas on Guadalupe Street. We continue with that here. Oh, wait, there's somebody else chit-chatting there in the background. We're going to do that uh, in a moment. I love it when those uh, websites just decide to start playing audio for you. And then there's a, Thanks. there are certain, uh, there's one browser, and I guess it's, Chrome because Firefox isn't doing it for me. There is one browser where they'll give you the little speaker on the on the tab that is okay. actually putting out audio. Sadly, that's, that's not nice. happening here. <laughs> so, okay, I found it, and now we're going to continue with the police pullover. Uh, I don't think I need to answer that question. I don't see what it would help. She says, question? I don't see what it would hurt. The question was, where are you going, to, or where are you coming from tonight? And so he says he's not going to answer. She says, well, I don't see what it would hurt. I don't see how it would help, he says. Uh, I don't think I need to answer that question. I don't see what it would help. Yeah, I mean, it might, you know, if you're coming from, say, a bad neighborhood or a bar or just somewhere totally benign. It's just, it's just a question. What if he's coming from a bad neighborhood? 
Are right. you not allowed to come from a bad neighborhood? Right. The last thing that I want to tell give you do is give you information that I'm coming from a bad neighborhood. Perhaps I'm there giving food to the mm. hungry. Whatever it is right. that I'm doing, you're going to immediately assume things about me yeah. because I'm coming from that neighborhood. Yeah, how is it useful for her to know where you're coming from? Why does that somehow help this traffic stop? Right, because the assumption is that she's she's going to use that information to decide whether or not you're a bad person and mm -hmm. she needs to do more. If you're not a bad person, what you should do is not give her information that's going to lead her down the wrong trail. So, are bad, are, Do all people who live in bad neighborhoods, are they all bad people? Uh, that's what she's thinking. It's certainly uh, not true, right? It's just, it's just a question. Just a question. Well, I'm not obliged to answer it, so I'm going to go ahead and exercise my right to remain silent. Boom. Boom. Just like that. I'm not obliged to answer it. He doesn't even ask her if he's, not, if he's obliged to answer it. He knows that he's not obliged to answer Indeed. it. Indeed. And he's going to exercise his right to remain silent, which as, unfortunately, the Supreme Court has declared... Uh, apparently you have to do now. So you can't just remain silent in America. It's my understanding that the you know the, the interpretation from the men in the and the women in robes is that you have to actually overtly make a statement that you are going to remain silent. But you can refuse to answer a question. Um, and you know, I mean, like remaining silent. It's just I'm not answering that question. I like your your answer, Mark. Just the sort of the flat. I'm not answering questions tonight. I don't use that tone. I just say I'm not answering questions yeah. tonight. Well, how, whatever tone, yeah. uh, you know, that it doesn't matter what tone you say that. That's an indicator that you know your rights. And it's a strong as indicator as, of that. As yeah. soon as you indicate that you know your rights, you'll probably see a traffic stop change. You know, the officer will likely change how they approach the scene, and then they'll just go and get the ticket written and be done with it because they know not to, uh, in, a, in some cases, they, they'll know not to push it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, she says. Just so you know, you're not under arrest, but you are detained. But yeah, you don't have Thank to. Thank you for that. that. She says, but yeah, you don't have to answer that. What's the question? Answer what? Just so you know. There is. Oh, okay. She had asked him a series of questions and he had expressed his uh, right to not do that. And she's letting him know he's correct. You do not have to answer my questions. Terry V. Ohio. It's a classic. Yeah, that'll let you, that'll let I'm looking right for there. where my phone is. All right. Here are the kids. Obviously, it's a very pleasant thing to be pulled over, as these youngsters are realizing here. It's probably the first time this has ever happened to them. Well, it's a paperwork issue. We live in a country where... Oh, Ollie has the phone. We live in a country where if you don't have your papers in order, people with guns will pull your vehicle over. Now, I, I just love the way uh, Kat and John explain the situation uh, to the kids. <laughs> and just the absurdity of it all... This, the explanation is just so ridiculous. I'm not saying they, they were ridiculous, but the, you know, the, the explaining what's going on here in a way that a child can understand, it's bewildering to, to listen to it you know, for, with fresh ears, right? Like, what? There are men with guns pulling you over and you know, no, kidnapping you? No, this isn't you? a man with a gun pulling him over. A it's woman a woman with a, with a gun, gun pulling him there, over. There are women with guns pulling you over or kidnapping you because you don't have the paperwork, you know, pieces of paper appropriate for the vehicle. I mean, that's just crazy. Don't be afraid. She said she pulled us over because our registrations expired. Every year you had to pay the government money to drive your car around. Isn't that crazy, kids? <laughs> Who are these people? And why do you have to pay them for this privilege? 855. Why do you have to pay for registration annually? I mean, right. I get why you might want to register a car and have numbers on the back, but why? I mean, in Montana, once a vehicle's over 10 years old, you don't need a, to, to renew your license after that. Why? 855 450 free. That's our toll free number. More coming up on Free Talk Live. Now, a twice as nice Twin Kit special offer from Complete H2O Minerals for all GCN listeners. Get a Complete H2O Minerals Twin Kit with 33 different minerals, vitamins, and amino acids all in a liquid form. Enough for two people for one month. Regular price $89.95, but now Complete H2O Minerals is offering the Twin Kit for $69.95. And all GCN listeners receive a bonus 16-ounce bottle of Ionic Silver absolutely free with free shipping. A $120 total value. Hurry, limited time offer. Call 803-794-4767 or click CompleteH2OMinerals.com. 
Hey, Berkey Guy here. Are you still drinking unfiltered tap water? Does your water contain chlorine or fluoride? Will you have drinkable water in an emergency? The Berkey Guy is here to help you remove these and other potential contaminants from your water, thus helping you drink clean, purified water. We offer Berkey water purification systems at the lowest available prices online. Don't go another moment without Berkey System. Over the last 10 years, we've helped thousands drink clean, purified water. Join them by visiting GoBerkey.com or call me, the Berkey Guy, at 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Thousands of people seeking home security get ripped off every day. And the home security industry wants you to believe that's your only option. They've got hordes of salesmen out there trying to scare you into signing one of their long-term contracts. You get stuck writing huge checks month after month with no way out. It's robbery by contract, and it can cost you thousands. But there's a better way to protect your home. Simply Safe Home Security. Simply Safe has no contracts, none. You'll get award-winning 24-7 protection, security professionals watching over your home, ready to instantly send police to the rescue for just $14.99 per month. That's less than half what most companies charge. Protect your home the smart way. Visit simplysafedefense.com today for an exclusive 10% offer and get a free keychain remote worth $25. Only when you go to simplysafedefense.com. Simplysafedefense.com. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com, SupernaturalSilver.com, and use the promo code SILVER2015 for 30% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. Dial toll-free to join us here. We're talking about flexing your rights during a police pullover. It is something you can do... Even if you do have something to lose, you know, once uh, activists have children, they tend to change their activism styles and that's okay. You know, everybody's got their roles. You can't do civil disobedience forever. And certainly John Bush and Catherine Bleich have done their share of uh, civil disobedience. They're, uh, they're Austin based activists. Both are members or participants in the free state project. And hopefully we'll see them make a move up here with, uh, with thousands of other Liberty minded folks one of these days. But for right now, they're, uh, they're running a bookstore, a liberty-friendly bookstore down in Austin, Texas. And even though they've got two kids, they're still standing up for their rights. Now, they're not going out and performing civil disobedience, which is understandable, because if you got mouths to feed, it's important to come home at night. But uh, there's still risk involved. I mean, when you flex your rights on the side of the road with the police, you still don't know what's going to happen next. Now, in a lot of cases, I think that it's for the best 
to flex your rights with the police. I think that overall, even though you can find some of these outlying cases where some rogue cop goes insane and you know, smashes a video camera and hurts someone, those are fairly rare. And if people exercise their rights more frequently, it will help keep the police in better control. It will help them behave uh, more friend in a more friendly manner, in a more honorable manner, if you can even say that about people who are threatening folks who are uh, you know not hurting anybody else. But well, well yes, I think that um, I, I could. It's not that um, my highest priority when I'm getting stopped isn't how I can help the next person on the next traffic stop. Mm -hmm. um, I'm happy to do that, but what my concern is is how this traffic stop goes. And you heard that lady, what she said. The cop? The police officer said that she asked him where they were, co where they were coming from or where yep. they were going or something like he that. He refused to answer. And he refused to answer. And she's kind of like, um, well, it couldn't hurt. And he's like, I, I don't think I'm obligated to answer that question. And she's like, well, it couldn't hurt. And he's like, I don't think it can help. Mm -hmm. And she's like defending it. It's like, well, what if you're coming from a bad neighborhood well, or a bar? Yeah, she's trying to talk him into ans answering the question. What, okay. oh, what's the big deal? It's just a question. She says. What if I am coming from a bad neighborhood or a bar? Mm -hmm. Why would I, again, why would I, what, how do I benefit by telling you? Is the best answer here church? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Because at some point I will be heading to church, and at some point I have left church. Mm. So I guess I am leaving church and going to church. Is that the answer that you want me to give? <laughs> so I want to get back into the audio. We've got a few, uh, several minutes actually of good audio. And at some point, John and Kat are going to let these cops have it. Uh, but right now it's the initial phase of the pullover where she's still kind of taking down name and information, got his license, insurance info, etc., uh, we'll continue that. But if you've got internet access, you are probably being watched, probably by your own internet service provider. They're likely saving your surfing history and your search terms that you're entering. Criminals may also be sniffing out your Wi-Fi packets. You can stop all of that from happening by encrypting your data connection with ProXPN. It's a virtual private network, a global virtual private network, and you can get signed up with 50% uh, off the regular monthly price of the lifetime of the account when you buy an annual account with our code FTL50, just go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Code FTL, like Free Talk Live, and 50, as in 50% off. Now, you can start for free. The free account's fairly limited in bandwidth and such, but you can actually try it out and uh, get a little taste of what it's like. Breaks the price down, that code FTL50, to around $5 a month. With the premium account... You'll get unlimited bandwidth. Servers around the world you can access. You can privately torrent and get past regionally blocked websites. Get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. Get started at proxpn.com slash FTL. Use promo code FTL50 to get a great discount on privacy that is priceless. It's proxpn.com slash FTL. We go back to the side of the road, Guadalupe Street in Austin, Texas, where John Bush and Catherine Bleich and their kids, two kids, have been pulled over by uh, two police officers and let me continue with the audio here. And the kids are uh, starting to speak up and ask questions about, you know, why is this happening? Why why do we get pulled over? Every year you have to pay the government money to drive your car around. It's very strange. <laughs> Thankfully, yes, she seems very sweet and polite. Well, if you don't count threatening you to pull over to the side of the road as uh, impolite, then I guess she's been relatively calm i'll take polite yeah, she, in, uh, over she, impolite she hasn't commenced a beat down yet but uh the kids sort of they kind of know what might happen because there's stickers on the car <laughs> that the government expects we? you to have up Hold to date camera. yeah that's kind of scary for a kid right like Kids love stickers. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, stickers can uh, cause men with guns and women with guns to show up. So watch out for the wrong stickers, kids. Nobody likes to be pulled over. It's an unfortunate part the of the world. Is the officer standing nearby? It's uh, departed. The officer has gone back to run whatever tags, but there's actually another officer standing nearby. It's an unfortunate part of the world that we live in right now, Ollie. And I hope that it won't always be like that. So the officer, I don't believe, is within earshot of this this conversation. I, I'm not playing the actual video, so I'm not watching it happen. I'm just playing you the audio track okay. uh, from it. We'll link to the full video on our Facebook and Google Plus, or not Google Plus, Facebook and Twitter. Help me go out. 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 Help me go out.
Did you hear that? Yeah, she's, she's hoping that we don't get killed. Yeah. Oh, baby. They're not going to kill us. Well, that's because you're not running from them, right? Like, if you, uh, <laughs> if you continued to go on about your, your way and ignore the women's flashing red and blue lights, then you'd get closer to possibly having them kill you. So, in this Killing you is an option. Yeah, in this particular instance, thankfully... Uh, nobody goes home in a body bag. There is a, uh, there was, I think last year there was an officer who uh, fired at a woman who attempted to drive away from a traffic stop. She shouldn't have been driving away, mm. but he fired into a vehicle with like four kids in oh, it God. in order to uh, stop that. And this is kind huh. of, um, you know, <laughs> this is why maybe you should just take down the license plate, officer. You got a camera for this very reason. Isn't that the idea here? Can't we just put out a warrant? I mean, everybody else has got a warrant. Why not this lady, too? Sure. You can put on an all-points bulletin, as they call it, or bolo. Be on the lookout. Don't worry. We're safe, okay? Good thing we got our insurance updated. Uh, look out, telling me. Good timing. I'm afraid of her, she says. You're afraid of her? Yeah. I'm sorry, Anna. The police? Yeah, that girl right there. Ow. <laughs> Where? Oh, there's somebody standing there? <laughs> <laughs> so, John's kid notices the other cop before he does. <laughs> the kids have more situational awareness, at least at this uh, particular moment, of, yeah. of who is surrounding them. And so the little kid says... Or, I'm afraid of her, and he finally indicates, oh, my God, there's another cop standing over there on the passenger side. They didn't even uh, realize that. So, th you know, I, I thought this was a really interesting interaction. It's one of those things like from the mouths of babes. This child is really uh, observant of what's going on around them, and, and, you know, they're really feeling, I think, the intensity of the situation and and. It's not a comfortable feeling, you know, to be in to be in that as an adult. And I can't imagine what it's like because I've never had that experience. I can't imagine what it's like as a three year old or however old this child is. It sounds very, very young. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's got to be a really uh, intimidating situation, especially if you know that the police can be violent and dangerous. Uh, you're worried about your parents, right? There's somebody standing there. <laughs> What's your name? And your badge number? 7553. This is good. To, just a good standard practice. What's your name? Badge number. Get it on the record because you know you're not always able to capture the uh, the name tag of some officer, and you don't necessarily have in Austin where there's 1,600 or 1,900 police officers. You're probably not going to encounter an officer that you know. The badge number is kind of this uh, standard sort of combative thing. I mean, but it depends on where you live too. There could be nine officer smiths that are female yeah it could be we'll come back with more here uh, from the side of the road austin texas act, uh, activists flexing their rights it's free talk live every once in a while you get information that's worth changing your life for this is one such time you can save up to and beyond 25 percent on all purchases at amazon you probably heard of bitcoin and just not thought much about it you certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now, don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. Would you like to use your IRA funds to buy precious metals and hold them at home? Are you wary of the stock market, paper gold, or faraway depositories? With a checkbook IRA, you may legally take custody of IRA-owned gold and silver. Visit CheckbookIRA.com and learn how IRA owners in all 50 states have already taken control. CheckbookIRA.com. CheckbookIRA.com. 
Clyde, age 59, and I reside in Florence, South Carolina. The doctors diagnosed me as having clogged arteries. Felt like I was carrying heavy concrete blocks around my feet and legs. I started taking heart and body extract as directed. It is less than three weeks and I'm like a young man again. It's unbelievable that an herbal formula can work so fast and so powerfully. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KDArmor.com. Come and take it. Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich? Working harder than ever, but getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare? Having someone else raise your children? With our opportunities, you can start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss, work from home, and live a happier life. At Be The Boss Network, you'll find hundreds of work-from-home opportunities that you can literally start today and be earning money as soon as next week. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss. Get out of the rat race. Work from home. Go to freedom106.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 106.com. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You be the boss. Go to freedom106.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. You can join us here on the radio waves. Our toll-free number for you... 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you tonight, it's Ian. And Mark. And we're playing audio from the side of the road in Austin, Texas. Uh, We talked a lot about drug dogs and police searches, police interactions last night. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to listen to one of them. And that's what we have here. It's uh, seven minutes of audio. We're about not quite halfway through uh, at this point, seven minutes of audio from the side of the road. It was originally about 11 or 12. I cut it down to the most relevant portions. We're uh, with uh, the family of John Bush and Catherine Bleich and their two kids in the car, just out for an evening, doing whatever, and uh, get pulled over by a cop who says their, I think it was their registration. tag or the registration had expired. And uh, so ultimately, uh, the officer, of course, has taken license and insurance information and gone back to their car. And uh, Kat and John proceed to have a discussion with the kids about, you know, exactly what it is that's going on in uh, this circumstance. And, the, you know, the, the explanation is, is pretty kind of funny. You know, if you've never been through a police pullover before, as these police, you know, these kids have not, then it's really ridiculous to hear an explanation of what actually is going on. Well, mommy and daddy don't have the right sticker on their car, and so therefore these you know women with guns are able to hold us, at, sticker. Yeah, <laughs> hold us at bay uh, over this or waylay us. So let me continue with this audio. You're welcome to share your thoughts, uh, your observations of this, how you might have handled things differently. I think they're handling it just fantastic. I think they're... Uh, you know, they're not giving up uh, information. They refuse to answer the cops' prying questions about where they're coming from or where they're going or whatever. And they re- they flex their rights right from the very beginning of the police stop. 
Uh, so everything I think is going very well from yeah, that I think perspective. The real, um, I agree. Um, I think that the the real difficulty in a traffic stop is to both sort of stand on your rights and to keep it from getting combative as best you can. Um, and you know, John's doing his very best at that. And I think he's uh, doing a doing a great job. Right, and especially with the kids in the car because it's. That changes the dynamic of what you have kind of probably can feel like you can do or, or get away with because you don't likely want to take too many risks uh, with the kids because you don't want to be separated from them. You certainly don't want to get arrested or beaten in front of them. And uh, there are a lot of ways this could have gone really, really wrong with the kids in the car. Thankfully, uh, the police do not commence a beatdown of, uh, of the folks. And Seems unlikely. Um, generally, that is fairly unlikely uh, at a at a just any old traffic stop. Certainly, I would right. think it'd be less likely in front of the kids. Uh, this is. Um, did they get pulled over for the registration? Yes. Yeah. So this is just a revenue stop. That's um, what it is. Yeah. I mean, registration is it, it's it's completely revenue. Think about it for a second. But it's also a fishing expedition, which is why the cop was asking questions. That's more revenue. Yeah. Um, and uh, I mean, you know, there if the if the state. Wishes, and by the state I mean the organization that claims a monopoly privilege on the use of violence in a given landmass. But if the state um, in, intends to, uh, you know, say quantify cars, uh, identify cars, there's a lot of white Tauruses out there. Let's put numbers on the back of them so in case one of them's involved in, say, a bank robbery, we can say, it's that Taurus there. Well, you don't have to. Uh, pay. You don't have to check every. You don't have to send a, a different colored sticker every single year in order for the tourist to have the same numbers on the back. Mm. You can look at the numbers on the car and say, "Yep, oh, that's a white tourist." Sure enough, um, and yep, everything checks out. So you can pay for that privilege, say the plate, one time instead of it being a revenue generation issue, because obviously roads have to be paid for. But police have to be paid for, too. And these two ladies that are here on this stop, doing this stop, their time is worth about what this registration costs, at least in Florida. Mm -hmm. um, in Florida, I think it's uh, 60 bucks, 50 bucks, or something like that for a, for a registration for a year. You can't tell me that a police officer's time isn't worth about that, uh, two of them. Um, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know what they're getting paid, but 25 bucks an hour sounds fine. And um, they, they're getting all kinds of benefits on top of that. And they have a 20 year uh, work life. So uh, you, you could even double those numbers. The cost of the pullover is more than the registration. That's why this doesn't make sense. That's why we need a better system mm. than putting different colored stickers on the on the license plate every year. Well, I got to say that uh, up here in New Hampshire, there are a few months out of the year where it, it's fairly common that you'll see license plates completely covered. Now, it's with snow. It's, snow, yeah. uh, it's illegal, from what I understand, to actually do that. And maybe somebody gets pulled over for it, but... I've heard about it happening in Massachusetts. I've never actually heard about it happening in New Hampshire. So all the time, I'm on the roads during the wintertime, and I see people with snow packed all over top of their uh, yeah. their license Especially plates. Especially if you and got a pickup truck. There's not a bevy of uh, bank robberies that happens as a result. No. Especially if you have like a pickup truck and there's that little area beneath the uh, license yeah. plate. The ledge. The, yeah, the ledge there. The, the snow could just get piled up there. Now, it's rare... That you'll have a vehicle where both the front and the rear um, license plate are covered in snow at the same time. Sure, but the cops are generally, if they're following you, they're not going to be they're in on front one of side you. or the other. Yeah. Uh, so let me continue with the audio here from the Blush family on the side of the road in Austin. I'm good. How are you? Fine. Did you hear that? My daughter said she was afraid of you. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. You could step closer. We were asking if you just heard my daughter ask if you guys were going to kill us. <laughs> no, the window's down. We're not down, so I can't hear what she's saying. Yeah, that's what our three-year-old, that's what she asks when people with guns approach our car because of all the media stuff. So just be aware. Absolutely not. Tell her absolutely not. Yeah, absolutely not, Aliana. Sorry that so many... She probably has little kids, that. too, like you. Couldn't make that one. Well, police can be scary. She's probably not going to miss you. Okay, sir. Um, is this the current address on your license? Ah, okay. So we're back into uh, tricky questions here. So this sounds like a routine question, right? And it is for them. They ask it every time they pull somebody over. It just sounds like, well, you know, we're just making sure that the dots are uh, and the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed here, sir. Is this your current address on the license? Okay, sir. Um, is this the current address on your license? 
At 11606. That is the address listed on my license, yes. <laughs> is that your current physical address? That's my permanent address. Now, okay. he's gone further than he had to here. He did not have to answer, um, as I understand it, any of those questions about his address. And in point of fact, had uh, this is one of, one of the ways they write a lot of people tickets. So, uh, And this happens all over the place. If your address on the license is different than the address in which you've moved to recently, most states have some sort of requirement that you update the government agents with your new address. And if you haven't done that, you've just taught and you've given them information. If you, you actually claim that's not your address, you just, you know, you're just being honest with them. Hey, I just moved. That's not my address yet. Boom! You've just talked yourself into another ticket. If it's been less than 10 days um, that you've moved... Depends on where you live. Yeah, it depends on where you moved, um, but you usually have some small period mm -hmm. of time. And, um, okay, so if, for instance, like, what does move mean? Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, that's, that's a question you need to well, ask yourself. Well, you can yourself. get into all that, but you could just not answer the question. Right, I've had a cop ask me that question, and I just simply refuse to answer. What if you need to get something to sent to you um, by them, and you have moved recently? You can give them a different mailing address if uh, if you're insisting on having them send send things to you. Yeah, um, I I I understand that, right? Yeah. Like you could give them an address and say, "Look, I moved recently." And I wouldn't then, give them any of that. Uh, I understand. I'm just saying you could. If you need to send me mail, you can send mail to this address. That does not give any information about where you've moved to. I okay. think that that might be, yeah. Um, you yeah, can have a mailing address. I have address. trouble getting mail at this address, mm -hmm. <laughs> so why don't you send mail? To, if you need to send mail to me, I have a different address for you. Let me go uh, to your calls here. We're going to get back to the audio here in a moment. John is with us listening in Des Moines. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, John. Hey, uh, I was just telling uh, your caller there that I got pulled over there in uh, Denison, Iowa once. And a cop come up to me. I'd had my, I was doing two mile an hour over the speed limit, and she come up to me and she says, uh, "I smell alcohol." Oh my! <laughs> Did she, were and you drinking that evening? Says, no. Okay. I had I had just got off work. All right. Do you work at a brewery? And, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I work at I worked at a packing house back then. All right. You're but uh. She had come up to the window. She says, I smell alcohol. And I told her, I says, well, you need to go get your nose checked because you're snorting too much candy. <laughs> so then she calls, she calls for backup. Uh-oh. So her back, the backup comes, and he says, uh, he, he, he pulls me, tells me to come back to his car. I go back there, and he says, I need you to do a breathalyzer. I said, well, I'll do it, but you do it first because you probably had more drink than I did. Nice line. Did he do it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to hear the rest of the story. If you can hang through the news, John, stand by. I love I want, the response. I want to find out what his bail was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 855, 450 free. Side of the road, flexing your rights. Can it be done? Yeah, it can be done, even if you got kids in the car. Uh, we'll share the rest of the audio here coming up. Hour number two is on the way. Live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live continuing in moments. Our number's 855, 450 free. We'll continue. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. For over 75 years, GEICO's kept an eye on the future, keeping customers happy with things like 24-7 customer support and emergency roadside service. And to prove it, here's one of our commercials from over 75 years ago. At GEICO, we promise to always find innovative new ways to serve you. In fact, we're so innovative, in 75 years, they'll listen to this old radio commercial and think, wow, they were innovative. Wow, we are innovative. GEICO, saving people money for over 75 years. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. 
According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mints, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. Call to decision with Pastor Butch Bob. GCN. With SRN News, I'm Gordon Griffin. Six U.S. fighter jets are now deployed at Turkey's southern air base to join the U.S.-led coalition fight against Islamic State terrorists. Turkey agreed last month to allow the U.S. to use Endrelik Air Base, which is close to Islamic State strongholds across the border in Syria. Turkish media reports say that the U.S. is expected to deploy around 30 fighter jets. The families of two Florida boys who vanished at sea during a fishing trip in July are starting a foundation in honor of the two 14-year-olds. It will promote youth boating education. The families also say that they are calling off the private search for Perry Cohen and Austin Stephanos. Motorists are beginning to see a marked difference at the pump. Fuel price analyst Trilby Lundberg says that the average price of a gallon of gasoline has dropped 11 cents nationwide over the past couple of weeks to 271. But the Lundberg survey finds a wide range of prices. The August 7 panel of cities shows Charleston, South Carolina, with the lowest, 219 per gallon. And Los Angeles, even though the price there fell 33 cents over two weeks, is still the highest in our panel, 380 for regular. Also at SRNews.com, Arlington, Texas police have called, an FBI, uh, in, called in the FBI after an officer involved shooting. Police asked the FBI to participate in the investigation into the shooting death of a black Texas college football player by a white officer during a burglary call at a car dealership. Police Chief Will Johnson said the officer and his trainer found the suspect freely roaming inside the building. The other officer used his taser. Brad Miller fired four rounds from his service weapon, killing 19-year-old Christian Taylor. Johnson stressed the request in no way diminished his confidence in his department's ability to investigate. Ronda Rockstra, SRN News. Los Angeles police searching for a hit-and-run driver who ran off, left his family behind after allegedly causing a crash and injured seven people, including two small children in Hollywood. This is SRN News. Honey, I'm really worried about our retirement funds. Oh, me too. We lost so much value in the recession in the stock market. I'm worried we won't have enough to retire. Jim next door told me that he had set up a new kind of IRA with the Gold Silver Group. He said how simple and safe it was. It's a private storage IRA, and we could have real gold and silver in our hands. Really? You mean we can actually see it and touch it? Absolutely. Jim said we could have all the benefits of an IRA to help build our retirement income. Bottom line, we would own a real tangible asset, and we would have the security of knowing we're protected no matter what the economy does. What do you think? I think we need to find out how to get our own private storage IRA. We need to call the Gold Silver Group right now. Are you ready to protect your future? Call 800-296-7609 now to find out how easy and safe it is to set up a private storage IRA with Gold Silver Group and find out how you can qualify for up to $700 in free silver. All transactions are privately delivered and fully insured. Please call us now. 800-296-7609. 800-296-7609. Pennsylvania's top prosecutor is taking on the new role of criminal defendant. Attorney Kathleen Kane, who faces charges including a felony count of perjury, is to be arraigned this afternoon in the Philadelphia suburb of Montgomery County on closed circuit TV. Kane is accused of leaking secret grand jury information through an operative to a newspaper reporter as payback for a former state prosecutor she thought made her look bad and then lying about her actions under oath. The 49-year-old Kane is being pressured to resign her post. Kane caused quite a stir in the state when she refused to defend the state's marriage protection amendment two years ago. Patrick Foss, SRN News. Federal authorities are investigating how two trains collided in central Georgia, injuring four people. WGXA-TV reports that the National Transportation Safety Board and Federal Railroad Administration are investigating Friday's wreck in the Washington County town of Sandersville. Norfolk Southern spokesman told WMAZ-TV that one train was westbound, the other was heading east. This is SRN News. A 
A lawsuit against Whirlpool has been settled over contaminated land in northern o- northern Ohio, near where dozens of children were sickened with cancer. The landowners settled their suit earlier this summer, months after the children's families dropped their lawsuit against Whirlpool, linking the company's washing machine plant with a cancer cluster. The lawsuit had accused the company of dumping potentially cancer-causing waste from the plant at the site, which was once a company-owned park. It was back in February that the families dropped their lawsuit filed back in 2013, suggesting that smokestacks from the Whirlpool factory spewed a suspected cancer-causing chemical into nearby neighborhoods. Bob Agnew, SRN News. Biologists say that a mysterious fungus is threatening to wipe out some isolated populations of rare rattlesnakes in the U.S. The snake was already a candidate for the federal endangered species list. More details at srnnews.com. I'm Gordon Griffin. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, that. stockbrokers, investment advisors want to talk about gold yes. IRAs? They've been available since 1986. Well, the police can be scary. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state in back taxes, you know they'll never stop coming after you. With bank levies, wage garnishments, they'll even seize your home or business. The good news? A government program for tax debt forgiveness. It's called the Fresh Start Initiative. I'm Paul Sibley. With U.S. Tax Shield, we can help navigate the new laws, get you protected, and resolve your tax issues permanently. Call the experts at U.S. Tax Shield now for your free consultation and get a guaranteed quote to resolve your case. Call 800-436-6451. That's 800-436-6451. back with more free talk live it's another live edition here on sunday nights our toll-free number is 855-450 free we've been playing audio throughout the first hour and we're going to continue here in hour number two uh on the side of the road what is it like when you actually flex your rights this is just one example there are other examples Uh, as we mentioned last night on the show we talked a lot about the police drug dogs and uh Flexing your rights on the side of the road. Also, there's a great organization. I'm using their their name, Flex Your Rights. They made the, some excellent movies about how to do this kind of stuff. How What are your rights and how do you exercise them? Because if you don't exercise your rights, then you should not be surprised when you don't have any rights anymore, when none of your rights are being respected by the people in government. It takes uh, a people who are aware of their rights, number one, and then further, who are willing to take the risk to exercise those rights. There is risk involved. But remember, if you don't exercise your rights, you're guaranteed to have less freedom over time. You basically don't have the rights you don't exercise. Exactly. Let's go back to John. We're going to continue the audio from the side of the road here in moments. Uh, but John wanted to call in with his own story of a pullover uh, in uh, in, Iowa, in Iowa, was it, John, where you got pulled over? Yes. Okay, so recap briefly for our listeners just now tuning in. Well, I, I got just got off work from a packing house, and I, I was on my way home at 3 o'clock in the morning, and a cop pulled me over for doing two mile an hour over the speed limit. She come up to the window. Wow. And of course, my window was open, and she said, I smell alcohol. I told her she needs to go get her nose checked because she's snorting too much candy. Well, she immediately <laughs> calls back up. Her backup comes, and he asked me to step out of my vehicle, which I did. And he asked me to come back to his vehicle, and he asked me to do a breathalyzer. I told him he needs to breath blow in it first because he probably had more to drink than I did. Do you think and that was funny? Because I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he, was, he wasn't amused with okay. it. But, <laughs> but uh, we said, he says, well, you know, if you don't blow in this here, uh, we're going to have to it's going to be a bad day. Do a deal on you, take your license, you know, and stuff like that. And right. I said, well, all right, I'll go on, I'll go on and blow in it. So I blew in it and it come back zero, zero, of course, because mm-hmm. I hadn't had anything to drink. So to well, make the whole story short, they went on and let me go, but they wrote me a two-mile-an-hour ticket. Really? Unbelievable. So <laughs> I went to the... They went to court and everything. The judge looked at it, and he just threw it out. 
<laughs> oh, right on. Good for you for not just paying the ticket and actually t- taking it to court. He says, uh, the, the judge says, you, your, your radar guns ain't even calibrated to that. <laughs> he said, what about the radar gun? They're not calibrated to get that. They're, they're, they're not calibrated except for, like, you know, like... They're not calibrated for like five mile an hour. In so the like limit. that's so like two miles an hour is within the margin of error or something like that. I would think that right, radar guns right. are more more accurate than that. Maybe not. It could be some time ago. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, how long ago was this, uh, John? It was, it was a couple of years ago. A couple of years. Okay. Well, that's a good story, man. Yeah, Anything I, else you I want mean, to share about you know, it? No, that's, that's about it. But Thanks. You know, like I yeah. said, the way they told me was. You know, from the time that if they don't calibrate them every day, then they lose a bit, of, a little bit of calibration. And two mile an hour isn't enough to, to worry about. Good for you. Thanks, John, for the call tonight. Congratulations on not taking the plea deal on that. Most people would have just paid it. They'd have said, oh, you know, two miles, it's a small ticket. Thanks for the call tonight. It's a small ticket. We'll, yep. uh, we'll just cut the check and, you know, be done with this. But if you actually challenge uh, a ticket, then that's the only chance you have to beat it. If you just pay the ticket, you've lost. But if you actually put in for your uh, court date, now, by the way, in different areas of the country, this can go very differently. In some places, you will be required to actually pay the ticket in advance before you go to court, which is ridiculous. In other places, like here in New Hampshire, you can actually go to court and then pay the ticket once it's all said and done. So actually, going to court is a way to sort of delay the requirement to pay the ticket here in New Hampshire. So even if you, you know, you're likely going to get found guilty, the cops going to show up, they're going to claim the radar gun was calibrated, uh, they're going to get you convicted, basically. But at the end of the day, in New Hampshire, you're not paying a uh, court cost. You're not paying $400 just to go to court, where in some places they actually have that. Where in uh, in Florida, a friend of mine got a DUI, and I went to court to, you know, show some support for him, uh, not because he was... DUI. I don't support driving dangerously, but, you know, just to support the guy because he was going to court. And I looked at the the uh, court paperwork in there and they actually had a list of what the what it costs, what the court costs were in Florida. It actually costs more to take a town ordinance to court in Florida than it did to take a misdemeanor charge to court. Yeah, I mean, that's because they don't want you to take it to court. Right. The, the, it was know, like $300. And I have no idea what uh, we're talking about, sort of violation levels. Um, yeah, the town ordinance. With the likelihood of uh, something being taken to court. But when you're talking about arrests, far fewer than nine than one percent far fewer than one percent of cases we actually had a guy call in and said that there hadn't been a trial in his town in in years they didn't even know what to do about it um but far <laughs> far fewer than people um than one percent of people take something to to trial just to see what'll happen yeah and you never know you never know if they're they're just you know if they have a crappy case and they can't make their case and those a lot kind of times of a lot of times their evidence is much worse than you believe that it is because bureaucrats are in a lot of cases lazy and the police are government bureaucrats they're ones that wear uniforms and carry guns but they're still government bureaucrats and they still don't have the right incentives to do a good job on everything that they do and given that they know that most people are going to take the plea deal and that they know that most people are just going to cut the check they they can get a little sloppy with collecting evidence and things like that. And so if you actually challenge the case, if you go to court, you can get discovery. That's one of the things you'll want to do if you ever challenge a case is put in a request for discovery at that time, uh, the time that you challenge it. That way you can get a, a copy of all the evidence that they're planning on using against you. Sure. And you, if you actually read the statute, you might find out you didn't even violate the wording of the statute. But this takes time, and it does take effort. And I understand that a lot of people have better things. Neither, uh, of, neither of either. Yeah, the better things that they would rather do with their time. So don't blame anybody for taking the plea. But if you want to have a chance at beating it, uh, just going to court is the best option. I mean, it could just very well be the cop doesn't show up. That's happened to me. Now, to be fair, I did have to sit in court for three hours while they waited <laughs> to uh, give the cop a chance to show up desperately. But the uh, cop didn't show Motion to dismiss as soon as the case started, and uh, I won that one. Yeah, it's worth uh, mentioning that uh, the closer you are to your house, the more the you know the make more it makes sense to take uh, tickets to trial. And this is one of the reasons That's that true. people believe that uh, police give tickets to out of state people, people with an out of state uh, dr- driver's license. Yeah, it puts so. them in a real hard place. Let's talk to Dana in Grand Rapids. Dana, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Hi, you guys. Hi. Um, I don't have a problem with any of this, and yes, it's irritating. They always ask, 
where are you coming from and where are you going? And no, that's none of their business. I don't know, you know, if you can get in trouble, it more than anything angers them. And then they really start looking. But you know what really upsets me? I'm on board with all of this. But I think it's terrible that those parents of that three-year-old little girl who has been on this earth all of 36 months knows the four-letter word, kill and cop. That came from them. She didn't just make that up. That should have never happened, and being that it why? did. Why shouldn't, uh, why shouldn't should, parents expose I, their kids to I the finish? real world? Can I finish? And being that it, well, the question was asked by that little girl, it should have been shut down. The fact that those parents asked that, officer, my daughter wants to know if you're going to kill us. That's just aggravating them. Well, I think that that's the right thing to do. No, we need to get things changed. But just... Well, yeah, here's one way to change it. You let the cops know, hey, you're scaring my kid. Maybe that'll make the police change how they approach things. Huh? I don't disagree that change needs to happen. But pissing people off for no good reason is not going to advance our cause. I don't see how that's terrible. Yeah, I'm kind of on the fence on this one, um, Dana, because I I don't want to, you know, sully the kid's mind with my uh, with my preconceptions. But at the same time, I mean, you know, there she said that they said something like to the effect of men with guns. If you don't have the right sticker, men with guns will come and pull you over. And that wasn't an inaccurate statement other than it not being a man. It was a woman. Stand by, Dana. I'll bring you back to continue the discussion here. 855 450 free. I think they are in the right here. It's free talk live. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. Hi, this is Walt Augustinowitz. I'm the founder and CEO of ID Stronghold. By now you've heard our commercials about wallets that protect you from electronic pickpocketing. Ten years ago, I created a way to protect my own cards from prying eyes after government officials started talking about issuing a national ID card with a built-in radio chip called RFID. I felt having to broadcast my personal information was an invasion of privacy. Soon after, it was also announced that credit cards, debit cards, U.S. passports, hotel room keys, and even transit passes would all soon incorporate RFID. It was then I formed ID Stronghold to share my inventions in blocking RFID signals with the world. There are a lot of misconceptions out there today about RFID. I encourage everyone to get informed and get protected. Please go to idstronghold.com and get the facts and the wallet sleeves or badge holders you need to protect your personal financial data. You'll be pleasantly surprised that through our direct sales model, you won't pay more than other comparable unprotected wallets. It is as though the protection is free. Visit idstronghold.com today. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 
In the U.S. alone, a home invasion occurs every 13 what? seconds. Yes, of On course. On top of that, yeah, the yeah, average yeah. response time for 911 is over 15 minutes. That just won't cut it. Don't allow yourself or the important people in your life to be victims. When seconds matter, don't be caught stumbling for your firearm. Get the protection you deserve. Get yourself a hidden holster from hiddenholster.com. It's the original hidden holster. The hidden holster is quick, easy, and convenient. It's versatile enough for the home, workplace, or virtually anywhere else you might need it. Have peace of mind with your firearm close by at all times. Go to hiddenholster.com. That's hiddenholster.com. If you own a firearm, you need a hidden holster. Your protection matters, and self-defense is the best defense. Go to hiddenholster.com. That's hiddenholster.com. The original hidden holster. Now, more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. We're back with more Free Talk Live, the live Sunday edition of the show. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Coming up, posting your home renovation pictures on Facebook could get you kicked out of your own home if you're in New York State and maybe a bunch of other places. We'll uh, share that story with you. And, of course, we're going to continue the audio from the side of the road in Austin, Texas, with two activists who are standing up for themselves, standing up for their rights. Uh, We're going to continue with that audio here in a little bit. Also, you can join us on Skype at Skype username lrn.fm. Uh, once again, our website, lots of great features there. One of the things that we offer you is a way to actually save big money on Amazon. Uh, this is real. Uh, this is not a joke. You go to purse.freetalklive.com, get signed up for Purse, and you can immediately start saving 20 25%. Daryl told me he saved 30%. Did somebody uh, get 30 Just the other day. And he said it took about two days for the order to get fulfilled at 30%. So the higher your percentage you want to save, the longer it might take to uh, to get it. Average orders in the U.S. save 20% on purse. Just go to purse.freetalklive.com. The catch is you have to pay with Bitcoin. So this gives you a reason to spend and acquire Bitcoin. If you needed a reason before, I mean, there's all kinds of great reasons to get That's Bitcoin. That's why I think this is the, the, the killer app. Is now yeah. the, you know, Why would I want Bitcoin before? Well, now you can save 25% on almost everything you need in your life. That's yep. why. That's right. Purse.freetalklive.com. Go there. Get signed up. When you sign up through our link, purse.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live will get a very, very, very small percentage of whatever purchases you make from that point forward. So get started and start saving. Why not? Purse.freetalklive.com. I've done it, and I intend to do it again and again and again uh, until it's no longer possible because Purse is awesome. Let's go back to Dana. She's in Grand Rapids. Dana, you're upset uh, that a couple of activists have apparently familiarized their child, their three-year-old child, with uh, police brutality because on the side of the road at a recent pullover we're playing the audio from here tonight uh one of the children asks if the police are going to kill them and you said you have a problem with that is that right exactly she's 36 months on this earth how young is too young uh to you know or how old is old enough to learn about the depredations of the police i'll tell you I'll tell you what happened in our situation, but first let me tell you that I have had um, most of my experiences with the, with police have been positive. Some have been over-the-top exceptional positive, and one was so horrific that I am in the process of uh, probably going public with it and um, uh, doing a book. And so it was pretty bad. And so I want you to know I've had everything, you know, from mostly positive to something so horrific. And I live in a town where you don't hear a lot of this stuff. So that said, know that I'm not coming at this um, unbiased. Sure. Okay, I, I, I got you. So tell me, what is the okay. appropriate so age? What I'm saying is, okay, so this is what happened when I was little. Um, if we were shopping with my mom downtown or with my parents and officers weren't in the middle of arresting someone or do, not, I shouldn't have said that, that sounds negative, but doing something, you know, they would take time and, and stoop down and talk to us when we were little. You know, that's 
three years old is just a year outside of what they call a toddler. And as we got older, we were told as kids two things. You respect the law because they can take your rights away by, you know, you can get arrested. Age-appropriate conversations from my parents. And the other thing was don't ever screw with the IRS because these two entities, these bureaucracies, can take, when I say rights, that word is thrown around both on your show and just people in general, but they can take your life from you. And I don't mean Well, yeah. That. Wouldn't I mean, you want your kids yeah. to know that? You're saying you don't want the kids exactly. to know that. No, no. Age appropriate as we got What's older. the appropriate age? But a three-year-old three needs to know that if she's lost or separated from parents or he or, or uh, something happens, they're in need of help, that they need to look for something familiar that they can go to with all these crazy people I wouldn't, out there. I, I would not want my kids to go to the police. Stay. They'll arrest you later oh, no. on. They'll call uh, CPS no. on you. I would like. I would want my kid to go to the police if they were lost. But so far, thank God that hasn't. I'd happened. rather they go to the, the customer service time, counter at Walmart have, well, or something. Yeah, that's if they're at in a store, and the, he's certainly done that too. Um, the I just think that that conversation was way too heavy. What's the right age? Wait, you right, still haven't on. answered you know, my question. Here's an important question. Uh, here's I, important. She has not answered my question. At what age is it appropriate to expose kids to the the violence of the police state? I think when they're probably um, upper grades of uh, grade school, it's not like police are taking out little elementary children. I've seen ki- I've seen good. cops being or, or I've not seen it personally, but I, we've seen stories of the police arresting elementary schoolers at age five. These cops are dangerous. Well, those are extreme. They are so they're more common than you think. Extreme. Mark, what was your question? I, I told you, Ian, when you get crazy like this. I, it hurts the cause. You understand. I don't think you and I have the same cause, Dana. I'd just like to make that clear. Go ahead, Mark. You had a question no, for Dana? No, I think you're off the reservation. That's fine. Um, Dana, so I, I have a concern, right? Like um, police have cotton into houses because little kids have let them in, mm. right? And all a police officer has to do is be let in, and it doesn't matter which living being does it. So I've told my son to never open the door for a police officer. And I don't know what else okay. to tell him because I'm no, that's afraid. Appropriate. Yeah, I'm afraid of no, these people. Appropriate. I'm afraid of what CPS and I'm be, afraid of what police departments be, will do to my family. Exactly. Ex- CPS, the courts, I agree with. It. Now, in that specific incident, incidents, and I'll answer any specific incidents Ian wants to discuss, but Mark, in your incidents, I won't do it either. I would tell my child that if they said why, you just say you don't let anyone in unless you, mommy or daddy, fell down or they can't get to the phone and you dial 911, then you can let the police officer in. But outside of that, you don't let them in. I would say that's a decent rule, Dana. Crazy. I'll give you I'll give you that. But aren't you mixing your messages? On one hand, you're no, saying, no. if you're lost, go see a police officer off. because they're trustworthy. No. On the other hand, I don't trust them to let them in my home. Isn't that a mixed message? No, I don't think that that's inappropriate, Mark, saying don't let anyone in the house, including a police officer, unless mommy or daddy can't get to the phone. Thank you, Dana, for your call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. How old is old enough to learn about what the police can do to people? I appreciate where she's coming from. Um, I don't want my son to come to the same conclusions. I want him... You know, I want him to come to the correct conclusions. I believe my conclusions are right, but my conclusions change, uh, you know, all the time. So I couldn't possibly be right all the time. I think that uh, I want him to come to his own conclusions and make his own decisions. So I don't want us to warp, his, you know, to to mold his mind too much. Mm. However, I want him to get the opportunity to come to conclusions. So therefore. Um, I mean, what we've said on the show, and this is a, this is fair for kids too, is is that look, you don't talk to police officers unless you call them. They are your servants, and that is the way that they um, that, that's the way they're portrayed. So if you need it's help, like getting yeah, I, Ian, I yeah. know it's a lie, okay. and everybody listening knows it's a lie. They understand the police job is to put people in jail, and they're not going to say silly things about what they do illegal in front of police. And we all do illegal things. 
um, to go confessing to police officers all the illegal things you do is going to get you the result that you expect. All right, hold that thought. 855-450-FREE is our toll-free number. We continue on the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. Would you like to use your IRA funds to buy precious metals and hold them at home? Are you wary of the stock market, paper gold, or faraway depositories? With a checkbook IRA, you may legally take custody of IRA-owned gold and silver. Visit CheckbookIRA.com and learn how IRA owners in all 50 states have already taken control. CheckbookIRA.com. CheckbookIRA.com. It's so lonely here. I can barely stand it. I'm waiting for you to stroke your keys and unload over at GCNlive.com slash community. Oh, come on. I know you have things to share, and there's a whole place waiting for you to share them. Light some candles, pour yourself a drink, and get cozy. Log in at GCNlive.com slash community. Lots of people are satisfied. Why not satisfy yourself at GCNlive.com slash community? I'm waiting. Get out of the friend zone at delicious.com. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light Systems System today, complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231, and the Berkey Guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey Light, the Berkey Guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey Guy at 1 877 886 3653. That's 1 877 886 3653. Or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. Serious investors and traders want to make an 81% return in 60 seconds? We can show you how using our free tool. Use the same secret algorithm professional hedge fund managers use to make billions of dollars in profits. Turn $250 into $4,903 in just seven clicks of a mouse. Our tool is so simple, my 82-year-old grandmother can use it to make insane stock market profits. Best part, it's 100% free. Go to richmoneyrich.com, watch the free video before the hedge funds make us take it down. Richmoneyrich.com, that's richmoneyrich.com. Everyone says or does something silly once in a while, even very smart, very accomplished people. It's part of being human. A quote taken out of context, a legal problem, an unfortunate photograph. Once that embarrassing thing is on the Internet, it can spread like a terrible rash because people love to dig up dirt, even when it's not real dirt. Put it to rest. Call for a free expert analysis today from Reputation.com. It only takes 30 seconds. 800-831-0771. Businesses, public figures, and professionals turn to Reputation.com for good reason. We protect your online image by helping make sure that when people search for you or your business, they find the most current, accurate information possible. Reputation.com. Because word travels fast. Learn more about what the experts at Reputation.com can do for you. Call for a free analysis today. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Healthy, organic, fresh fish, robust, mouth-watering vegetables, all from your home. It's called aquaponics. This brilliant, self-sustaining protein and veggie system is perfect for year-round growing. Know exactly where your food is coming from. Aquaponicsource.com is the one-stop shop for all your needs. Fish, fish food, plumbing, full systems, classes, and more. Learn to build your own system. Go to aquaponicsource.com for a free guide to aquaponics. That's aquaponicsource.com. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll free. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Welcome back. More Free Talk Live happening now. You can join us here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Live Sunday edition continuing. We've got more to come from the audio of the side of the road pullover in Austin, Texas on Guadalupe Street. 
a uh, very popular street. You can actually hear music in the background uh, to sort of set the tone. It's uh, an evening in Austin, and a couple of liberty activists, John Bush and Catherine Bleich, have been pulled over for a registration is- issue. I guess it had expired, and they had not yet renewed it. Uh, kids were in the car, and the kids are none too comfortable about the situation that they're in with these women with guns who may kill them. Uh, as one of the uh, the three year old actually acknowledges that you know she's wondering if the cops are going to kill them, and uh, mom and dad do let the let her know that there's really nothing to be worried about. This is just a traffic stop, and they're probably not going to get shot to death uh, by the police. Although it could happen, <laughs> depending on which cops we're talking about and which victims we're talking about. Uh, in this case, we'll continue the audio here in a little bit. Also, I want to let you know how to get Bitcoin. We just told you you can save 20, 25% on Amazon purchases when you go through purse.freetalklive.com, but you've got to have Bitcoin to do it. So, step one, get the Bitcoin. Go to expresscoin.com. You can get Bitcoin as well as other altcoins like Litecoin and Dogecoin. It's fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive. Plus, they're a licensed money services business. You can get cryptocurrencies with money order or check by going to expresscoin.com. Whether you're in the U.S. or Canada, expresscoin.com. You can even do it from your smartphone. And I was reading an article uh, by the, the guy from Purse. Apparently, they're going to be expanding into more than just Amazon. So it may be, you know, if Amazon wasn't motivating enough, there may be some new stores that they're going to be operating with here in a little bit. So get your Bitcoin now. Go to ExpressCoin.com and get started on that process. You can use coupon code FTL to get up to $40 worth of cryptocurrency with no fee, no transfer fee at all. When you use coupon code FTL, like Free Talk Live, at ExpressCoin.com as we go to Skype where I believe we have Dr. Jones on the line with us. Dr. Jones, you're on Free Talk Live. Dr. Jones on Skype going once. Dr. Jones on Skype going twice. You know what? That's my bad, Dr. Jones. I uh, thought I had taken you off of hold, and apparently I had not done so, and apparently uh, Skype is not allowing me to do so. So I will have to figure out uh, why that is. Maybe it's Windows 10. I just upgraded to uh, to <laughs> Windows 10, and right now I can't actually uh, take a call off of hold, which could be crippling for our Skype uh, callers here. We'll see if we can get uh, Dr. Jones back on the line with us here. In a moment, we're going to continue on here. I think we actually have him now. Uh, Dr. Jones, are you with us? Yeah, I'm here now. Excellent, sir. Go ahead. All right. So just uh, earlier, some callers were talking about what happens when you go to court, and I I was helping people in North Carolina. I'm in Mexico City now. I used to live in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. I was helping them defend their traffic tickets. And here's the system in Forsyth County, North Carolina. might be different. Other places might be the same. People get a ticket. They have a court date. If they show up on that court date, they are told basically one of three things. You can ask for a continuance. You can pay now, come up with a payment plan, or uh, say that you're going to try to find counsel or something. Mm -hmm. And people are allowed to do that three times. But they, they don't see a prosecutor. They don't see a judge. They're not arraigned in any way, shape, or form. They simply talk to a clerk. So I help people by helping them develop a motion to dismiss, getting the discovery motion. And so for a few people, they've gone in, and they did see the, the prosecutor who wanted to negotiate. Mm-hmm. And, and the one people said the prosecutor started screaming at them, saying they're not allowed to submit a motion to dismiss. Mm-hmm. So just, That's just as you... I know. Just as you all had commented, in some counties or some parts of the, some states, people have not seen the, the clerks and the, the um, prosecutors haven't even had a trial for traffic. They're not accustomed to seeing motions for discovery. They're not accustomed to seeing motions to dismiss. Wow. And again, I would say people, and I'm, and I'm encouraging, helping people with, with the Mark Stevens method. You know, I adapted it, his motions with, for North Carolina with the court system there. Um, but it seems quite valid. I mean, I, I went to law school. I taught as a law professor, and it seems quite good. And it's just an, another way you know, to try to reduce the damage, prevent the damage, prevent the harm. And uh, so, again, the You're referring to Mark Stevens, said, the author of Adventures in Legal Land. The basis uh, of his, yeah, his system seems to be sort of questioning the jurisdiction of the police no, officers. Right, right. The, fact, right. The, the facts that support the jurisdiction. So, again, okay. in American law, legal conclusions are based on law plus fact. And if they don't, the cops don't have a fact that say that why the law applies, then that's the grounds to say there's no jurisdiction. 
I have you like ever been his system with that? Yeah, I, I like his system for um, sort of uh, folks that want to have a hobby of messing with the courts, but I, I haven't seen it be successful here. And it's not that I, you know, think it's successful or unsuccessful. I think that it's sort of, it's it's a system to show people the absurdity um, of part of the system that we have today. But yeah, do, do you find well. do you find any success with it other than just kind of you know put motions? Well, in? A, a couple people that whom I helped simply told me they went to court and as soon as they got there the clerk or whomever just said oh your case has been dismissed they, they literally didn't even want to deal with it now of course we know there's that one video from that kid from tennessee and he used mark stevens motions and the judge says i'm going to deny your motion to dismiss but i'm dismissing the charge so i mean that's that's when you can see on youtube but also uh, of course mark stevens has examples people send in and post um but the other key, I know in New Hampshire, there it's was an hard issue to, there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's hard right. to to know the reason why something's being dismissed, right? So maybe it's because you came at it with the Mark Stevens approach, or maybe it's just because you challenged the ticket and they just don't want to deal with it. Uh, they just know that their court time is better right. spent on other matters. Yeah, I think, and I'm in agreement, and obviously Mark Stevens, from what he said and what people have written in and shown the documents, they've all said – the judges never grant the motion to dismiss. They just dismiss for other grounds. Mm. So, or in the interest of justice, for example, somebody sent in their motion to their their dismissal, and the and the prosecutor had said, on the, for the interest of justice, we're dismissing the case. Okay, <laughs> fine, whatever, you know, whatever. But again, I, I just want to make the point that people should be aware that the the counties are using these the traffic tickets as a just a money making machine. It's huge, and again, in some places like. In Forsyth County, North Carolina, you don't go and get arraigned. They, they, they'll try to go three or four times and reschedule, reschedule until you simply pay the money or plead right. guilty. They, they won't even get you in front of a judge. Yeah, so they want to drag it out. And this yeah. is also something they did with actually Catherine Bleich, who was in the audio that we've been playing. She was arrested in New Hampshire, and ultimately uh, those charges were not successful against her, but they – kept dragging her back into court knowing that she lived in Texas so they would order her to, yeah. to appear for some sort of a hearing even though this wasn't, wasn't for a ticket though this was sort of for a this misdemeanor for civil she had disobedience. To come, right? well um, if you've got an attorney if it's like a, a pretrial hearing you don't have to be there for it but uh, but yeah you know, they know that you're gonna likely show up if you get an order to go to court even if it's an unnecessary hearing so they, they try this crap all the time to drag it out and make it as long and as arduous of a process for you as possible dr. Jones anything else you want to share go ahead no that's all tonight uh, thank you again and shows great like I said I'm in Mexico City and I tell everyone you know wherever I am in the world <laughs> to listen to you guys because you're you're doing a great job. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Dr. Jones. I appreciate the call tonight. Uh, yeah, I mean, whatever your tactics are, I, I don't think there's any tactic, whether it's Mark Stevens or some sort of sovereign uh, sovereign man tactics or whatever. I don't think there's anything that's going to guarantee you results in the court. I, I've just never seen that. If we start to see that, I would love to uh, you know report on it. Well, but, the, the, what's gonna you'll get some results by simply knowing how to play their game, and right. um, that that takes practice and uh, you know sort of a, a good system. Um, the Mark Stevens system, is, you know, it'll sort of trial and error you um, through. It doesn't tell you how to use the court system as much. Yeah, you you know you just need to get in there and and, and get some experience, and getting that experience on something light like a traffic ticket is the best time to get court experience. Now, this is a valuable thing to do, to learn how to go in and at the very bare minimum challenge this, you know, whatever the ticket is you've gotten. Go in and learn how to, uh, you know, submit a motion to dismiss. If some prosecutor tells you, you can't submit a motion to dismiss, they're lying to you. It's uh, the case they're bringing against you, and if unless you've got an attorney, you can submit all the motions you want to. You can make up motions and submit those <laughs> if you want to. And judge will likely ignore them and, uh, you know, deny them. But you can submit them. 855 450 free. Share your thoughts on Free Talk Live. More coming up. Attention, business owners. Do you know the three most critical letters in business? CEO? MBA? Nope. Here's a hint these three little letters can make the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. ROI? Uh the answer is INC, as in incorporation. Because if you're not incorporated and someone sues your business, you can lose it all. Your home, your car, even your life savings. That's why Incorporate.com is now giving away a free incorporation guide to all business owners. So you can incorporate in just 10 minutes. Protect your home. Protect your car. 
Protect your life savings. Call 1-800-941-1029 for your free 10-minute incorporation guide from Incorporate.com. They don't provide legal or financial advice. They just make incorporating or forming an LLC quick and easy. Get the three little letters that can mean the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. For your free guide, call 1-800-941-1029. That's 1-800-941-1029. Now a twice as nice Twin Kit special offer from Complete H2O Minerals for all GCN listeners. Get a Complete H2O Minerals Twin Kit with 33 different minerals, vitamins, and amino acids all in a liquid form. Enough for two people for one month. Regular price $89.95, but now Complete H2O Minerals is offering the Twin Kit for $69.95. And all GCN listeners receive a bonus 16-ounce bottle of Ionic Silver absolutely free with free shipping. A $120 total value. Hurry, limited time offer. Call 803-794-4767 or click CompleteH2OMinerals.com. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpillett.com. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order, KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KDArmor.com. Come and take it. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. We, we, we are a survival company. We manufacture our own line of level 3 and level 3A body armor. We proudly make our armor 100% in America. We have the best prices in the nation, about $125 cheaper than our nearest competitor. All lab certified, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Psalm 31.3. We are Fortress Survival, LLC, dot, dot, dot com. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. And now we bring you more Free Talk Live here on the live Sunday edition of the show. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We're talking about standing up for your rights. And by uh, proxy, when you stand up for your rights, you're standing up for everybody's rights. Because unfortunately, not enough people uh, know their rights, number one. And those who do know their rights, many of them are too scared to actually do anything about it. Uh, the good news is that generally flexing your rights is a an empowering experience that results in the police behaving better uh, over time. It won't necessarily, there's no guarantee uh, that this is going to work well, but it, I think it generally does work pretty darn well. And in fact, in the encounter that uh, John Bush and Catherine Bleich had with the Austin City Police on the streets just a few nights ago uh, on Guadalupe Street in Austin, uh, it worked fine for them. They were able to, uh, it, you know, it, they were able to flex their rights and stand up for their freedoms and not give too much information to the police with all of their intrusive questions. 
and were ultimately able to drive away from the scene, as uh, we'll hear here. We've been playing audio from that encounter, and we're going to continue with that here in a moment, but I also want to let you know about Cell 411. Now, I don't know how many of the activists in Austin have this yet, but if they don't yet have it, they really need to get it. If you've got an activist group, if you've got a, uh, whether it's Cop Block or whoever it is, if you've got a, let's say, a neighborhood watch, maybe it's just your friends or your family members that you want to alert them when something is going wrong in your life. As much as we don't want things to go wrong in life, at some point, something's going to go wrong. And it's good to have your friends and your family on call in a situation, whether it be medical, whether it be a criminal activity, whether it be being pulled over by the police, whether it be watching someone else being pulled over by the police, Cell 411 can send out alerts that are customized to uh, the groups that you want to receive them. So if I'm out and I'm cop blocking and I want to let my other fellow cop blockers know where and what's happening, I can send a cop block alert via cell 411. Maybe there's a medical emergency, I can send that out too. And it sends out my location to my chosen list of friends, lets them know, hey, Ian is involved in XYZ activity or whatever, and uh, here's his location. Can you help? And then each individual who has sent the notice can respond as to whether or not they can, uh, or they have the ability to assist. Maybe they're not in the area, they can't do anything, or they're tied down at work, or they're available and they can be there in 10 minutes. You can indicate that you're on your way. It'll even give you the GPS location of the person who's sending the alert. Very cool, and it works. So go and get it for Android and uh, iOS devices both. It's called Cell 411, C E L L 411. So let's go back to the audio here from uh, Austin, Texas, with two cops having pulled over a couple of folks, John and Catherine, uh, John Bush, Catherine Bleich, with their two kids in the car. We're going to take you up to the point where uh, we've, we've been through audio where they've been pulled over, they gave over their license and uh, insurance information, refused to ask, or excuse me, rather, refused to answer the questions from the police about where they were going and what they were doing. Uh, so again, just you know, standing on their rights, which is an important thing for all of us to do. Um, is this the current address on your license? At one one six zero six. That is the address listed on my license. Yes. Is that your current physical address? That's my permanent address. Okay. Now, this is none of this woman's business, and if I have any critiques for John in this awesome video, they did a great job recording. You can't see the—obviously, we're on the radio, so you can't see the quality of the video, but it's John sitting in the driver's seat. Uh, his wife, Catherine, is in the passenger seat, and she's the one manning the camera. If you've got somebody else in the vehicle with you when you get pulled over, that's what you want to do. It's hard to juggle getting your wallet and your insurance and you know all the stuff that you need to get with your hands if you're also trying to hold a video camera uh, at the same time. Obviously, having a dash cam like the Freedom Cam certainly helps. But Freedomcam.net. In, yep. In addition to the dash cam, I think it's good to also have a cell phone broadcasting live, say, via ba the uh, Bambuser app, for instance. But if you've got a passenger sitting there, they can be your dedicated camera person, and that takes one load, uh, something that you don't have to really think about too much off your your hands as the the driver and that's what was going on here so she does a great job of keeping the camera pointed at the cop the entire time she's at the window and you know getting the relevant portions uh on video here but it really it's none of the cop's business what the uh the, you know the address is on your license if you answer that question in the wrong way it's going to get you a ticket in most places that that question is about ticketing somebody that is an opening question that is is designed to walk people into convicting themselves of not having updated their license with the driver's license bureau within 10 days that's what that question is all about and had uh, john said something to the effect of like you suggested earlier mark i'm not answering questions tonight earlier in the discussion that doesn't mean she wouldn't answer or ask the question in the first place but he could then just simply reiterate that i'm not answering questions tonight you're under no obligation, as I understand it, to uh, give them answers to these questions. Let me continue. Why is she, ste why is she staring at us? <laughs> Who, this lady? Why, is she creepy? My daughter, My daughter thinks you're creepy. Why staring at us? Is that just standard protocol? No! No, 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 that girl. Oh, oh this girl? Is your license back? I think she's going to give us a warning because she doesn't want to take us to the rigmarole of the municipal court. Uh, if only he was right about that. Turns out, no. Nope. I mean, I mean, nice. um, I'd rather not give that number. Nice. You gotta say. 
It's none of her business what his, his phone number is. She doesn't need his phone number yeah, to the point of that, exactly. write him a ticket. Yeah, I don't understand. It's she just, has been asking a lot of questions. It's just digging. They want to build files on people. You guys say why I don't need to re- provide a reason. I'm sorry? <laughs> I don't need to provide a reason. I mean, Boom. if you'd like one to be... Boom. Shuts her down. Now, here we go. <laughs> He's about to lay into her. I mean, if you'd like one, to be honest, I don't appreciate that there's a group of people that go around pulling people over and threatening them and have that have firearms on their on their side. And your institution, Austin Police Department, is extremely corrupt all the way up to leadership okay. in Art Acevedo. So, so I'd uh, rather- <laughs> She's done. She's like, OK, sir, I've heard enough. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, you're one of those people. I see. Up to leadership okay. in Art Acevedo. So, so I'd rather not do? participate in those things it that I'm not legally not required to. Your phone number, that's fine. I need you to sign at the X at the bottom. It's not an admission of guilt. It's just saying you're, you're going to take care of this citation on or before this court date. What happens being, if I don't sign? You are being cited for the registration. You can- now, this is a good question. I mean, asking the police questions is t- totally within your right. You know, if you don't understand what's going on, they have some level of obligation, as I understand it, to try to explain it to you. And so what's going to happen if I don't sign this piece of paper. Now, in some jurisdictions, they do require that you sign these things or they will arrest you. Oh, yeah. In others, like here in New Hampshire, I've just had them hand me the paperwork. I don't think they've ever asked me to sign anything. So They want to get rid of you as quickly as possible. Have they asked you to sign things in, in New Hampshire? I don't know. Have you ever gotten a ticket up here? Um, I got a ticket in another uh, another county. Yep. You don't, don't recall? Know. Don't really recall. Yeah. I don't think they do it here, Mark. doesn't have anything to do with being a freedom activist. You can either... Pay it or fight it in court. Wouldn't you be more comfortable ethically just giving me a warning and I'll go get it taken care of right away? <laughs> no. No. Yeah. And if she's got to meet her it's quota. Up to my it is up to your discretion. Mm-hmm. So you want to make me, you wanted to make that Wait, clear. Wait, so a family choosing. with kids, if you're making a choice, a discretion to give a ticket when you see that we have two Mr. small Bush. babies? If you refuse to sign the ticket, I'm going to have to call my supervisor out here and he's going to tell you to sign the ticket or you'll be taken to jail. He so, hasn't been hold taken on. to jail before. So if I don't sign the ticket, you're going to threaten me with violence and put no. me in a cage. I'm going to call my supervisor. No, sir. My he's supervisor will threaten you. <laughs> call my supervisor out to speak to you, you to hopefully convince you to sign the ticket so you will not be taken to jail. That's what coercion is, you know. That was an interesting way of rewording exactly what John said, right? Like, you're threatening me. You're going to hurt me if I don't sign this ticket. No, no, I'm going to call my supervisor, and he's going to try to convince you to make it so we don't have to hurt you. (laughs) Yeah, ultimately, that's what's uh, coming down here, and this is what he's intending to do. He's trying to show her that this isn't just business as usual, Mm. that this um, interaction is unlike other interactions that take place. Now, some would say that driving's a privilege. He's taken it upon himself to, to, to get on their roads. Um, but what doesn't get mentioned there is is that, um, you know, he's forced to pay for those roads, whether he drives on them or not. And it's interesting that they call something a privilege, but I'm still forced to pay for it. And I think what he's doing here is really good stuff because he's not just because of what he's said, but also the kids are there saying what they're saying about these police, about how the, pol- the kids are scared of the police. They're worried about them. They're not comfortable around them. And I think that those are important things for those police to experience because I don't think those women, you know, if they, especially if they do have kids themselves, probably don't want to feel as though they are a threat to the, to the children of the world. I don't think anybody wants to feel that they're a threat to children. And that is ultimately what is being expressed to them in this particular traffic stop is that these women, even though this is just a traffic stop, have put these children on edge. They're scared and uh, you know they're worried about the safety of their parents. More coming up here in moments. I think it's important feedback for the cops. Hour three's next. Shaquille O'Neal for Icy Hot. If you've got pain, you need the patch. The Icy Hot patch. Powerful, targeted, fast-acting pain relief that stays put without the mess. Icy to dull the pain, hot to relax it away. In a variety of sizes, from back, shoulders, knees, even arthritis. So you're covered whenever and wherever you hurt. Stop pain right at the source with Icy Hot Patches. Pain's no match for the Icy Hot Patch. For temporary topical pain relief, use only as directed. Every summer we go to Canyon Woods. 
Love getting outside. Love the hiking. Hate the itching and irritation from poison ivy, bug bites, all the things that keep me inside. So I need something strong. Cortisone 10 Intensive Healing is clinically proven with the strongest non-prescription itch medicine available for fast, long-lasting relief of itching and irritation with seven moisturizers to help heal skin. I finally have the relief I need. Hey, Jan, check this out. On my way. Cortisone 10. Feel the heal. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. Get life advice from Dr. Joy Brown. Only here. GCN. With SRN News, I'm Gordon Griffin. Authorities say that a family of six children and two parents were handcuffed and fatally shot in the head at a Houston home by a man with a violent criminal history who had previously been in a relationship with a mother and had a dispute with her. Harris County Sheriff's uh, Sergeant Craig Clopton says that once police officers arrived at the home, the suspect allegedly fired shots at them and they had to wait for a SWAT team to arrive. From the time that uh, patrol officers uh, entered the house and uh, took on gunfire and retreated uh, until the time that he was actually uh, taken into custody it was over the course of several hours. David Conley has been charged with capital murder. Police are investigating the death of a man whose body was found at a Confederate monument in Florida. Police say that the body was found this morning on a park bench in Pensacola. A witness tells the Pensacola News Journal that he was doing yard work when he heard two men fighting, but the witness could not confirm that the fight was connected to the monument. Also at SRNews.com, the U.S.-led coalition is beefing up its air power in the fight against Islamic State terrorists. The U.S. military says the U.S. Air Force has deployed a small detachment of six F-16 jets, support equipment, and about 300 personnel at Injerlink Air Force or Air Base in southern Turkey. Fuel price analyst Trilby Lundberg says that the ongoing slide in crude oil prices is showing up at the pump. Gasoline prices are down again, far more this time. Uh, the new average is 271 per gallon for regular, down 11 cents in two weeks, and down 16 cents over eight weeks. The Pro Football Hall of Famer, who led the New York Giants to the 1956 NFL title and later team with Howard Cosell and Don Meredith in the Monday Night Football booth, has died. Frank Gifford was 84. His family says that Gifford died suddenly at his Connecticut home of natural causes this morning. His wife, Kathy Lee Gifford, is host for NBC's Today. This is SRN News. The following is not an actor, but a real-life story from Trinity Debt Management. I had numerous credit cards, and I was struggling with paying them off. If you're in debt and you need help, call Trinity at 1-800-758-5360 to talk to a certified counselor. I had heard about Trinity, so I made the call. They took care of all of my credit cards, and now I am completely debt-free. Trinity will consolidate your accounts into one easy-to-manage monthly payment, put a stop to late fees and over limit charges, reduce your interest and possibly improve your credit score. You'll save thousands. The people at Trinity are very friendly. They will do whatever you need them to do in order for you to feel better about being in a very difficult place. If your debt has you down, call Trinity at 1-800-758-5360. My name is Ann and I'm debt free for keeps. 1-800-758-5360. A child custody dispute leads to four deaths in Vermont. Officials say the woman charged in the slayings of a Vermont social worker is also the alleged perpetrator in the deaths of three of her relatives whose bodies were found Saturday morning. The three women found dead at a Berlin home were an aunt and two cousins of 40-year-old Jody Herring. 
Laura Soba was gunned down after work Friday outside a state office building in Barr. She handled a case for the State Department for Children and Families in which Herring lost custody of her nine-year-old daughter. Rhonda Rockstra, SRN News. The U.S.-led coalition beefing up its air power in the fight against Islamic State terrorists. The U.S. military says the U.S. Air Force has deployed a small detachment of six F-16 jets, support equipment, and about 300 personnel at Enderlink Air Force Base in southern Turkey. This is SRN News. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has opened an investigation into Harman car radios following a recent recall of 1.4 million Fiat Chrysler cars and trucks due to a hacking vulnerability. Hackers got into a Jeep Chrysler SUV through an electronic opening in the radio and were able to take control of the car over the Internet. In response, Fiat Chrysler says it sealed off a loophole in its internal cellular telephone network with vehicles to stop similar attacks and issued a voluntary recall. The NHTSA is investigating which other cars have the affected radios and whether they're vulnerable. SRN's Jeremy House, a woman is in the hospital after an alligator bit off her arm while she was swimming in central Florida. It happened yesterday. Kayakers rescued the woman, tried beating the gator away with paddles so they could get her to shore. Wildlife officers later found the alligator and killed it. More details at SRNnews.com. I'm Gordon Griffin. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. Are you excited about the World Wide Web? Do you want a place where you can share your ideas and express yourself? Well, dial up your modems and stream on down to the GCN Live Community Forum. Lots of radical features await you there. Wow, Internet guy. I am so glad I went to the GCN Live Community Forum. You too can discover why the World Wide Web is awesome. Just go to GCNlive.com slash forum. That's GCNlive.com slash forum. I'll see you in cyberspace. Space. Friend at GCN Live on Diaspora and Cross.tv. Back now, more Free Talk Live continuing here in what I think is uh, kind of an educational edition of the show. We're playing back some audio of a traffic stop of a couple of different folks who we know. They've been on the show in the past for interview purposes. And uh, we've got uh, John Bush and Catherine Bleich. A great activist couple in the Austin area. They've got their kids with them in the car. It's Austin at nighttime. They've been pulled over by a couple of cops. And the police, the reason for the pullover is the just a registration that is expired. But there's all manner of questions coming at them from this particular police officer. This officer wants to know where they've been. Where are they coming from? Where are they going? These kinds of questions. And John is uh, wise enough to know to uh, not answer questions like that. He does. The one critique that I do have is that he did answer the question about his driver's license address. Now, I don't know what the rules are in Texas, but it's my understanding that generally you're not under any obligation to answer any questions about that. If you've identified yourself as a driver, if you've provided your driver's license and whatever other is required, so like insurance in a lot of states, not in New Hampshire, but uh, insurance and uh, registration if you've provided all that you can actually just continue to remain silent you know if you if you really don't want to get yourself into any extra trouble that's a tactic that you can take mark you've said that you would say i'm not answering questions today yeah i'm just i'm not answering questions today and tone is really important um when when one does that when one says that uh, you consider police police pull over all different kinds of people um, throughout the day. And what the signals you want to send to them are, look, I know, um, you know, like I'm very competent in the area of knowing my rights mm-hmm. and I'm going to be friendly to you. Those are signals that you want to send out to them. And um, that would might be the signal that say, I don't know, an attorney might send might uh, signal them. 
Yeah. So and they don't want to deal with an attorney. They, they don't really wanna, don't. Yeah. They would. There, there are easier fish to fry. And that's what they are wanting to do. They want to get revenue. But they will fry revenue. a fish that makes them angry. So try not to be the fish that gets fried by not making them angry. Would be my suggestion. Certainly, I mean, there's uh, you want to take a nicer tone rather than a hostile tone. But all that said, Mark, if you say certain things to the right cop, they're going to see you as somebody who's a troublemaker and that oh, you think you know your rights. All right, well, you know, if you well, say, the first thing you don't say is I know my rights, because a yeah. person, <laughs> you know, like. That's talking about your your money or no. your sexual prowess. People who do it don't do it. No, you want to. Uh, you don't want to say you know your rights. You want to show that you know your rights. That's by... why you say I'm not answering right. any questions today. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Or ever, generally. So we're going to continue with this audio here, uh, but also want to get your calls and thoughts. Eight fifty five four fifty free. We had one caller earlier who said that they thought it was inappropriate to be exposing their kids to uh, dangers of the police at a young age, I say it is absolutely not inappropriate. The police can be very, very dangerous. They can be helpful in the right circumstances. Uh, but generally, it's a dangerous act to interact with the police. And uh, having the having your kids interact with the police, even in the situation, Mark, that you were bringing up where like the, the kid has gotten lost or whatever, it's separated from the, their parents, uh, that seems like one of those traditional areas where you should go to the cops. But what if you go to the cops and then the cops go to CPS and then CPS brings charges upon you because you're a bad parent. You're unfit. You are unfit to parent. You let your child get out of your view for 20 minutes or whatever it was, however long they were lost. And if you're balking at that, if you're thinking, oh, well, that would never happen, well, you just haven't been paying attention because there have been parents who've gotten into hot water with CPS because the police have come along and they've encountered their kids at a playground where the parents were, like, across the street looking out the windows every now and then at their kids, and they're still, in, you know, bringing, uh, getting brought up on improper parenting allegations and things like that. So... We live in a crazy world where if you're not right next to your child's side at every given moment, there are some people in the government who think you're an unfit parent and they're going to bring some sort of charges against you. So I think you risk that uh, by having a, any child contact the police at, at any time. The, um, that's one thing's for certain is, is that everybody feels free to give everybody else parenting advice. Mm. People with kids, people without kids, people who've had kids, people who no longer have kids. I mean, the, the difficulty is um, that you, you can't raise your kids the way everybody else would like you to raise your kids. Sure. It's not possible because they have conflicting opinions. And so you have to raise your kids the way you raise your kids. And the problem is, is that uh, sometimes CPS and the police don't like that. And that's really inconvenient. So I think what's been happening in this video with John and Kat and the kids is important for the police to experience. Because one, they're experiencing parents who know their rights, who are exercising their rights, despite the fact they've got their kids in the car, which some would would believe is risky. Um, I think it's always risky to exercise your rights, but the risk is worth worth it because we need to do it. Otherwise, we're not going to have any rights left. So you got to do it, whether you've got kids or not. But also, I think it's important because the police need to get feedback from folks. They need to know that what they're doing is not okay. They need to be told overtly, which is what John and Kat do here. They let them know, look, I don't appreciate you guys doing this coercive business where you're threatening peaceful people. They, they let them know explicitly. But I think it's also good that they're letting them know through their kids what the kids are saying. You're, my daughter thinks you're scary. She's scared by you. She's wondering if she's going to be, you know, if we're going to be shot by you tonight. That's really what the kid asked about it at one point in this in this audio. And again, I'll put the full video for you, the all 11 or 12 minutes of it, right. on our Facebook and Twitter so you can see it on your own. But, so, but to get that feedback is important for them because I want these cops to go home at night and think, my God, what? Did, how did I approach that situation where those kids were scared of me today? Well, um, sometimes in the course of my work, I'm watching videos that uh, Jack is. Jack likes videos like mm -hmm. anybody, any kid likes videos. What is he, seven? He's seven. Yep. And he's going to see some videos where police step out of line because that's the nature of my work. Now, some parents are going to look at these things and some of them aren't. Some people are going to say, you shouldn't look at those videos while your son can see them. That's what our caller basically was saying earlier. But, I mean, the reality of the situation is is that that's, you know, that's our world and that's, the, that's what I have to deal with. And so um, should I – do I have a, some kind of obligation as a parent to uh, put out – to proselytize essentially the police's um, and and the government's 
own um, their uh, version of things. Yeah, yeah, their, their propaganda. Is that my obligation? Because that's what they would like me to do. I can assure you that they, um, you know, like in the Lego land, he knows that the cops are the good guys and the crooks have stubbly faces and sock hats and striped mm-hmm. shirts. Like, and, and they have wheelbarrows full of colored gems. Right. Because this is how crooks pays. work. And cops, <laughs> you know, the cops are all smiling and, uh, you know, no, nobody ever gets beat up when they uh, get taken to jail. So, uh, you know, like this is this is what propaganda looks like, ladies mm-hmm. and gentlemen. Right? Like he knows without even being told who the good guys are, who the bad guys are. The crooks don't get the helicopters. The police get the helicopters. Mm. Because the police can afford them because they have stolen money that provides the helicopters. When you look at these city Legos that my son has, the whole city is bureaucrats. Yeah. It's all bureaucrats. <laughs> There's like one family with a camper that, uh, you know, the drive around and they're just taxed, you know, taxed right. to beat the band. They can't, they can't, how to, where are all these cops? Where are all these firefighters? Uh, even the, even the, uh, the, the air traffic controllers in the, the airport. I mean, it, it's, the whole city is bureaucrats. That's an interesting observation. And, and he knows who the good guys are. Obviously, the family's having a great old time. They got their dog, but they have to live in a camper because they're paying they're so, so many taxes <laughs> to keep. There's a there's a there's a firefighter motorcycle. What firefighter goes to fight a fire with a motorcycle and an ex- fire extinguisher? I mean, this is just how li- ridiculous the level of bureaucracy is in Legoland. Yeah. But we know who the good guys are. And this is all I want to know. All I want to know is what obligation do I have to uh, to further the government's uh, promotion of their uh, you know their, their big bu- government programs? I would say if there's an obligation as a liberty lover, it's to do the opposite: is to counter their propaganda and to get the truth out there to your kids. I understand that you know some of those videos are violent. I don't even want to watch uh, some of them, but. To, be, to make your kids aware of what the police can do, what they're capable of, and the things that they have managed to get away with. I wish we lived in a world where I, we didn't have to be so critical of the police, where they were behaving on uh, a regular basis and not aggressing against peaceful people and only going after uh, violent criminals who are actually causing harm to other people. If that were all the police did, I'd be their cheerleaders, man. If they were really actually just going after real criminals, it'd be hard to find anything wrong with that. 855 450 free. There's more coming up here. We'll play the remainder of the audio from the pullover of the couple that is uh, flexing their rights with the police and their kids in the car. It's Free Talk Live. We're coming up. This is a life changing message for anyone with sleep apnea who is on the go and tired of dragging around a big, bulky home CPAP device. MiniCPAP.com now offers a portable device that's as small as a soda can and weighs less than a pound. For even more freedom, you can add a battery that's as tiny as a deck of cards. It's called the Transcend Mini CPAP. And right now, you can try it risk-free for 21 days by calling 1-800-939-8536. Transcend is the world's first portable mini CPAP device. It gives you the freedom to sleep in total comfort anywhere you are. Our smallest and most advanced portable design ever. Transcend is so small and so light you can fit it in your briefcase or purse to use anywhere you go. It's FAA compliant too, so you can even sleep comfortably while flying. Enjoy the freedom to sleep comfortably anywhere. Call minicpap.com now for your 21-day in-home trial. 1-800-939-8536. That's 1-800-939-8536. You pick up the receiver with your heart racing and sweat dripping from your forehead. You finally muster the courage to dial the number to call into your favorite talk radio show. It rings once, twice, and then... Hello, it's GCN. What's your name and the state you're calling from? Surprised you got through, you squeak out. Jason from Minnesota. Please hold. As you patiently wait for your turn, you begin to daydream about being a famous talk radio host and what it would be like to have your own show. Jason from Minnesota, you're up. Millions of loyal listeners worldwide waiting to call and talk to you. Caller, are you there? Cheering crowds surround you, calling out your name. Jason! Jason! Going once, twice. Okay, we gotta move on to the next caller. You blew it. Huh? Wait, no! Interact with the host you're listening to right now online at GCNlive.com. Click on the community link. Engage with other listeners. Ask questions. Start debates. Don't agree with the host? Let them know. Be a part of the community at GCNlive.com. Quantitative easing. 
crises, unemployment at depression levels, Europe financial system falling apart, China getting out of U.S. treasuries. At the end of 2008, the time of TARP, the national debt was at 11 trillion gold, trading around $850 per ounce. Close to 2012, the national debt exceeded 16.4 trillion, gold doubled to $1,600 per ounce. The 20 trillion threshold for the national debt is inevitable. Politicians in Washington have a ferocious appetite for spending and stimulus. What's worse, a printing press to finance. A hundred years ago, we had a gold standard to limit this madness, but now you have to adopt your own gold standard. Don't be fooled with paper promises. Get Midas Resources 10 reasons to buy gold free by calling 800-686-2237. Understanding the gold and silver market may be the only insurance you can have to avoiding the next economic crisis. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order your free copy. Again, that's 800-686-2237. Okay, honey, I have to ask, and be honest here, have you been taking a little blue pill? Because things have been pretty good in the bedroom lately. No, I swear. You didn't pick anything up at the pharmacy last month in Cancun? No. Well, something's different. I have been taking that heart and body extract you bought me. But that's for your heart and to control your cholesterol. Well, I read HB extract also promotes healthy prostate function. I never guessed it would work this well, but... but you're glad it did. Oh. Heart and Body Extract is a 100% organic formula that promotes a strong heart, healthy arterial flow, better circulation, improves erectile and prostate gland function, and provides youthful energy, strength, and stamina. Find out more at HeartAndBodyExtract.com. Heart and Body Extract, paired with healthy heart choices, is a winning combination. Call toll-free to order or for free information. 1-866-295-5305. 1-866-295-5305. Now, more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Hey, we're back. With more Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday edition. You can join us here. Our number is 855 855- 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We've also got Skype. Skype on in here at username lrn.fm. With you in studio, it's Ian and King Mark. And Mark, uh, tell me about Bitcoinist. Yeah, Bitcoinist is the ultimate resource for Bitcoin industry news, reviews, education, and the latest in cryptocurrencies ecosystem. Uh, Bitcoinist is the prime online destination for information about the Bitcoin and digital currency industry. Their website integrates a community forum, Breaking Bitcoin and Digital Currency News. They also aim to cover fintech and blockchain tech as well. Bitcoinist has very sophisticated Bitcoin network statistics, a solid beginner's guide to Bitcoin, and much more. The Bitcoinist platform serves the needs of everyone looking to keep up with Bitcoin and digital currencies, from beginners Two experts. They've got the information no matter what level you are. Bitcoinist.net. I signed up for their um, daily uh, newsletter. So there you go. Bitcoinist.net. All right. We're going to go back here to the audio we've been playing off and on throughout the entire show here tonight of a couple of great activists in the Austin, Texas area, John Bush, Catherine Bleich, and their kids who are uh, quite afraid of what is happening to them with the police pulling them over on the side of the road in uh, Austin, Texas at nighttime for some sort of uh, registration violation. And it's it's really interesting for those of you who've not, if you're just now tuning in, you can grab the full audio once I post this. I actually haven't done that yet on our Facebook and Twitter. I will do that. You can watch the full video there. We're, we cut it down. I cut it down to about seven minutes here from about 12. And uh, it's great because John and Kat, uh, they flex their rights. They refuse to answer most of the questions thrown at them by the police and i think it's a it's a really instructive video to help people understand that you know it's not necessarily the end of the world when you flex your rights the police in a lot of cases will be more respectful towards you uh when you actually do that and we've actually got john bush on the line with us now john welcome to free talk live hey guys how are you good man good good to have you here i'm actually going to jump through the last uh, about a minute of your video here this is right after you started to lay into the cops after she 
peppered you with some other question and you let her know the reason why you aren't going to be answering her questions because you don't appreciate the fact that they're out there threatening peaceful people as uh, as they tend to do for their job. And you pointed out that corruption uh, rises through the ranks there as it does in many places, but certainly in Austin with uh, corruption all the way up to the police chief. So that takes us to right about where we are in the video. So just uh, just hang with uh, and feel free to add commentary as uh, as you feel appropriate here, and then we'll talk to you more about it. That's what coercion is, you know. Are you going to sign the citation, sir? I generally don't sign contracts under duress. It's not a contract, and you're not under duress. I already explained <laughs> You have a fine. <laughs> you're not under duress. I mean, come on, lady. You've got a gun on your hip. And, and she said that uh, she'd call the supervisor if she, if he didn't do and it. And he'd go to jail if the supervisor came and right. explained it to Threatening him. Threatening to take someone to jail is like the definition of, of duress. duress. Yeah, exactly. A certain I, place that is give, me the, give me the ticket. Give me the ticket. You sign it? You're scaring our daughter is the only reason. But ethically, this is pretty wrong. You need a light. You're supposed to be there to protect and serve. You're not serving my family right now. In fact, you're taking a lot of time and energy and resources away from our family. Right. Apparently, there aren't any actual crimes being committed in Austin, Texas, because uh, they got a whole two cops out there uh, to you know keep an eye on John and his family here. From our family. I don't understand the mindset. You have discretion, and this is what you're choosing. What sort of choice? What sort of discretion are you using? Why would you choose to make someone's life more difficult? Aren't you here to serve us, ma'am? Okay, <laughs> sir. Aren't you here to serve us, ma'am? She's in ignore mode at this point. Ever mm, since yes. John uh, just basically took this lady to task for being a corrupt cop when they in a corrupt department, she has wanted to end this traffic stop. This this cop is trying to end this stop as quickly as she can uh, at this point. Here to serve us, ma'am. Okay, no, sir. No. Aren't you here to serve us, ma'am? And the website on the back of the ticket for if you have any questions or concerns. Yeah, I know the routine. And if you get it taken care of within 10 days and provide proof that you've get, gotten it taken care of. I know how it works. A very minimal fee of about $10. Okay. Do you have any more questions? For They're me? not going to take this um, to I'm sorry they threatened No, just a threaten. suggestion to consider a new line of work that okay. isn't parasitic, right, that the on. majority of the Austin <laughs> public This doesn't, doesn't cause three-year-olds to think they're going to be killed. John Bush. Welcome back to Free Talk Live. Uh, when did this happen? Was this last week? It seemed pretty fresh. Uh, yeah, I think it was four days ago, three or four days ago. And you're just driving home from wherever, and uh, this lady uh, waylays you and uh, threatens you. You've got a ticket now. What's your plan? Are you, you know, is this something that you can make go away if you, uh, you know, pony up the cash? Are you going to go to court? What's what's your next move? Yeah, we were actually on our way to go pick up some diapers, and now they're trying to take away my kids diaper money but uh the next move it was a, re the registration ticket so uh i had a good long period where i fought six different traffic tickets all the way to the bitter end using a little bit of right to travel terminology and some due process thing that this guru named eddie craig teaches here at the, at the bookstore brave new books but mm -hmm. it's a total headache and uh my wife and i are working the bookstore we just took it over and i got kids so the cool thing about the registration and inspection stickers, which is great advice for people, in most states, once you just get the car registered, send in proof that it was registered, then you can pay like 10 bucks and they make the ticket go away, which is good because if I get one more traffic ticket, I'm going to have like a suspended license. Uh -oh. I got to pay like 50 bucks every time I renew it and stuff. So uh, I'm going to take the path of least resistance. I just don't have the time and energy to fight every day in court. It's a total pain in the neck and it it costs a lot of money, so yeah, I don't blame you for that at all. That I mean, I, I I think you you know I think that for a lot of people that's the you know the easiest thing to do, and odds are good that you going into court and challenging this isn't going to overturn the uh, the Austin Texas court system. So ultimately, it's you know it's probably not worth your while to go spend time in court doing this. But good for you for you know standing up for your rights on the side of the road. A lot of people would say, John, that you know having your kids means that you can't stand up for your rights. But I think you guys pr proved in this video that you absolutely can. Why did you choose the route to uh, you know not answer the questions instead of being a good docile little uh, surf and doing as you were asked to do? Well, I uh, personally feel. Uh, inconsistent, and it just doesn't sit well with me when I I don't normally bend over. I don't know when the last time I did, did bend over. I mean, there's varying degrees of, of going along to get along, but uh, mm -hmm. having children makes it even more important, I think, for us to stand up for our rights, because we're, our children think it's strange and weird that you have to have documents on your paper and 
And unfortunately, my three and a half year old daughter is is cognizant of the state of affairs in this country. We're not like indoctrinating her or feeding her a bunch of uh, information that perhaps her little mind isn't ready for, but she hears adult conversations. We don't censor our conversations around them, and she hears yep. us talking about police brutality. And I remember after Ferguson, I was driving around with her listening to NPR, and uh, Obama was given an address about what happened, and he mentioned – he said, like, police killing people. And she said, the police are killing people, Dad? And not just going to, like, shut that away. I explained to her the type of world that we're living in and let her know that, you know, your mommy and daddy are fighting tirelessly to hopefully we can create an environment where you don't have to grow up in the same coercion, uh, monopoly-based system. But – Uh, More importantly, when when we're interacting with law enforcement, our children are there. Uh, Our two-and-a-half-year-old was asleep through most of it, but my three-year-old, like, she's extremely intelligent. She had some of the most uh, most interesting observations, I think, in the entire video. Can you hang on, John? I'd like to bring him back to talk more about it. Yeah, I'll be All right, more with John Bush from Austin, Texas. Here in moments, this is Free Talk Live, Live Sunday Edition. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Now, a twice as nice Twin Kits special offer from Complete H2O Minerals for all GCN listeners. Get a Complete H2O Minerals Twin Kit with 33 different minerals, vitamins, and amino acids all in a liquid form. Enough for two people for one month. Regular price $89.95. But now, Complete H2O Minerals is offering the Twin Kit for $69.95. And all GCN listeners receive a bonus 16 ounce bottle of Ionic Silver absolutely free with free shipping. A $120 total value. Hurry, limited time offer. Call 803 794 4767 or click CompleteH2OMinerals.com. Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich, working harder than ever, but getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare, having someone else raise your children? With our opportunities, you can start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss, work from home, and live a happier life. At Be The Boss Network, you'll find hundreds of work-from-home opportunities that you can literally start today and be earning money as soon as next week. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss. Get out of the rat race. Work from home. Go to freedom106.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 106.com. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You be the boss. Go to freedom106.com. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KATIArmor.com. Come and take it. In the U.S. alone, a home invasion occurs every 13 seconds. On top of that, the average response time for 911 is over 15 minutes. That just won't cut it. Don't allow yourself or the important people in your life to be victims. When seconds matter, don't be caught stumbling for your firearm. Get the protection you deserve. Get yourself a hidden holster from HiddenHolster.com. It's the original hidden holster. The Hidden Holster is quick, easy, and convenient. It's versatile enough for the home, workplace, or virtually anywhere else you might need it. Have peace of mind with your firearm close by at all times. Go to HiddenHolster.com. That's HiddenHolster.com. If you own a firearm, you need a Hidden Holster. Your protection matters, and self-defense is the best defense. Go to HiddenHolster.com. That's HiddenHolster.com. The original Hidden Holster. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement. 
but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a Block It Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. We are back now. More Free Talk Live. If you want to join us, you can do so. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Talking about standing up for your rights, or in this case, flexing your rights on the side of the road when pulled over by the police. There's a great organization called Flex Your Rights that has made a couple of videos about this about your rights when you're in your car, when you're at home, or when you're just walking somewhere. Uh, there's different levels of police interaction uh, that they can have with you. And uh, if you care about freedom, then you really ought to learn these things. You know, you need to learn your rights and learn how to exercise them. And one of the best ways to learn this stuff is by watching others do it. And John Bush and Catherine Bleich are two excellent activists in the Austin, Texas area. They got a couple kids. And they uh, The whole family was together uh, last week when they were driving home. From getting some diapers, apparently, we now have more information than the police do uh, about the, about that particular incident. <laughs> because John refused to answer most of their questions, and I thought that was uh, was a smart move because you know there's no reason to give the police more information about you. The more information they have about you, the more likely they are to write you even more tickets or possibly put you in handcuffs and then take you away from your family. Mark. Is John on? He is on. Okay. Actually, I just, just brought him back on the line. So, John, I have a question. Um, the I, I'm surprised this officer asked you where you were going this evening. Um, I, I mean, why? I, why are you surprised? I, because I'm just, they don't, I, I don't get asked that question very often. I don't know that I've ever been asked that question. Um, do you have any idea why she decided to ask? I mean, because she asked a lot of invasive questions. At some point, you finally put her on notice. Uh, but, uh, you know, after that, she just wanted to get rid of you. But up to that point, she was asking a lot of questions. Why do you think that was? I think it, it may be protocol. And I believe this officer was a rookie because the other lady woman that was with her when I started giving her flack about uh, signing the ticket, she came over to the other side and the reason why I decided to actually sign it was because I heard her kind of motioning to the officer that was dealing with me to, like, let's go ahead and call the supervisor. And I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to deal with it. So mm -hmm. I just signed the damn ticket. Although the past few times I've been arrested, I got away without signing the ticket at all and basically called their bluff. Huh. I didn't have my kids with me, of course. But I think they're just trying to fish for information. And I can see them that, you know, being useful if they, like, pull over some kids that they think are high or, like, leaving a party or something like that. But... I think generally they, they try to get you to give up information on yourself, which is why it's always important to exercise your right to remain silent as, as much as possible because the cop's sole purpose is to collect evidence to use against you in court. And they're like trained, sophisticatedly trained in order to go from step one, the, the detainment, to the information collection, all the way through to getting that guilty verdict. It's not just one process for them. They're looking at it in a holistic way. So it's important for us to look at it in the same light. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's pretty accurate. I mean, maybe Mark, you you know, you maybe this these are the sort of the standard textbook questions, and it's just been it's different. Maybe perhaps where you've been pulled over, or maybe they would treat you differently, Mark, because you don't have a, a goatee, you know, and uh, maybe John looks more hippie uh, than than. Perhaps you, do. you should get a haircut, John. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll be more free with a with a shorter haircut. <laughs> Tell me about the the kids. Uh, you know, I thought they were the most interested. Your three year old was the most in, one of the most interesting parts of this video because she was. You know, just really honestly observing everything that was going on around her and I think really feeling uh, the the intensity of that situation and the danger of it and, and, and not afraid to express her concerns. I thought that was really an interesting aspect to it. I thought it was it was also useful that you shared those comments with the police because it's important for them to know the impact, uh, the negative impact that they're having on, on peaceful people. So I thought that that was really good. Uh, what happened afterwards when the video shuts off? What was the conversation like uh, between you and uh, what was the daughter? Was it your daughter who was three and a half? Yeah, her name's Aliana. Aliana, okay. Um, yeah, we just continued to talk. She still had a lot of questions about the police and 
he was the main thing that got her shooken up the most was whenever the woman threatened me with jail because mm-hmm. she understands what that is. Uh, we have friends that are in jail, you know, uh, uh, Schaefer Cox, for example, my wife and, and, and I have extreme admiration for him and, and, uh, we get pictures from him and letters and she knows that Schaefer's in jail and she talks about going to break him out sometimes. <laughs> and, uh, I went and covered the Ross Ulbricht trial and she's informed about Ross. And so she knows what it means for people to be put in jail and for, for her to hear that officers threatened to put me in jail. That was really the, you know, like everything else is textbook and simple. I've been through this routine before and, uh, my children have been exposed before to this type of activity, at least uh, uh, with us communicating openly and honestly with them. But to be in the situation where the police are now threatening her father to put to take him away from the family and put him in a cage, like that was really upsetting for me that that's just a part of reality. Um, so we try to be as open and honest with our children as possible. And any time we have the – like we were pulled over at a border checkpoint for like 45 minutes. And they had to call the state trooper. The U.S. The Department of Homeland Security had to get a state trooper to finally get us to give our ID when you know we knew that there was a possibility that he was going to yank us out of the car. But we just don't want it to appear normal uh, for this type of activity to take place. We want our children never to be desensitized to it because it isn't normal. It's wrong. It's adverse. It's detrimental to human flourishing. And I don't want our, my kids to think that it's just an everyday occurrence for you to be pulled over or for you to have to go through an internal border checkpoint and show your papers and ask ask uh, intrusive questions. So we try to lead by example, and I know that my children growing up, they'll never bow down to arbitrary authority because it's some, it's an it's an idea that's foreign to them. Yeah, I love the way uh, earlier in the video where the cop has like taken your ID and gone back to the car, and you you and Catherine are answering questions from the kid. Uh, you know, about like, you know, you're, and you're explaining in a very plain manner what is happening, but the way you're saying it, it just sounds so absurd. But to us, to most people, it seems routine. This is, oh, you're just getting pulled over. What's the big deal? You know, you've got your registration, it's violated. But you've explained, you explained to uh, your kids that, you know, oh, mommy and daddy uh, are under threat basically because we don't have the right color sticker on our car. And it just, it all just breaks down how I think ridiculous this system actually is. And it really, I, th- I think you guys do a good job of showing that to the kids. And uh, I-, I hope it appears as absurd to them as it sounds uh, when you explain it. Yeah, it does. And I, and you know, in my activism, we try to spend a lot of time uh, doing peaceful parenting and just focusing on raising our children in the most uh, ethical and consistent way as possible, because I think in large part, uh, a good chunk, if not almost close to 100 percent, 90 percent of the, the current generations that are adults, you know, it's almost almost as though it's a lost cause for there to be some um, some extreme changes where people reject this idea of monopoly coercion. It's been ingrained in so many people through indoctrination, public schools and stuff. So I honestly think that uh, families that are libertarians, that are liberty-minded, that are having children, it's it's detrimental that they raise their children in a manner that's consistent with the ethics of liberty and that they don't get into these weird language games and they call a spade a spade. These are armed thugs, a criminal gang that operates here in Austin, Texas, that's threatening us and threatening to put us in a cage, not a jail or a prison. It's a freaking, it's a human cage simply because our papers aren't in order. And I think if we we break free of this illusion of the way things are and we stop playing their language games and talk about things for what they really are. And we do this for the next generation that we're raising. They'll be, they'll, they'll question authority instinctively. Absolutely. When they're uh, normal for them, right. When they're teenagers and they're in the car with their friends and they get pulled over, they're going to know their rights and they're going to, you know, if they're, if they haven't already informed their friends about these things, they're going to be the ones who take control of that situation and inform their friends of how to handle this because they've been in, they've been immersed in this for a long time. Now we had a lady call earlier and she was upset that uh, your kids would know at age three how the police are behaving and that you should, you know, supposedly shield them from uh, this reality. And you have a different viewpoint on this. You haven't gone out, you said, to specifically in- inculcate them and like show them police brutality videos or something, but it was just in conversation through you that you know them being around you guys and this is something you're concerned with that they uh, they absorb that information is that right 
Yeah, and people, like, that's victim blaming. Like, I'm upset, too, that my children know that kind of stuff. I don't want them to be raised in a world where police habitually abuse people and kill people. I don't want that to be in their mind at all. But unfortunately, that's the world that we live in. And we can put on blinders and we can be naive about it. But then we're just setting up the next generation for the same failure that this generation is experiencing. We got more coming up here. Uh, This is Free Talk Live. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. We We, we are a survival company. We manufacture our own line of Level 3 and Level 3A body armor. We proudly make our armor 100% in America. We have the best prices in the nation, about $125 cheaper than our nearest competitor. All lab certified, for thou art my rock and my fortress, Psalm 31.3. We are Fortress Survival, LLC. .com. Affordable health insurance was the promise of Obamacare, but for many, the government mandate caused more problems than it solved. And I want to tell you about a truly affordable alternative, Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare bypasses doctor and hospital panels, giving you the freedom to choose. 100% coverage up to $1 million per year per occurrence includes dental, vision, pharmacy, and holistic care. Call 1-800-714-6993. 1-800-714-6993. 1-800-714-6993 today. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Hey, Berkey Guy here. Are you still drinking unfiltered tap water? Does your water contain chlorine or fluoride? Will you have drinkable water in an emergency? The Berkey Guy is here to help you remove these and other potential contaminants from your water, thus helping you drink clean, purified water. We offer Berkey water purification systems at the lowest available prices online. Don't go another moment without Berkey System. Over the last 10 years, we've helped thousands drink clean, purified water. Join them by visiting GoBerkey.com or call me, the Berkey Guy, at 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Moments remain right now here on Free Talk Live. 
We've got enough time for you. If you want to join us, 855-450-FREE. Uh, that's 855-450-3733. We actually have John Bush on the line with us here. Uh, he is one of the couple that was involved in the video we played the audio track from tonight uh, on the air with him and his uh, wife, Catherine, flexing their rights on the side of the road after being pulled over by Austin uh, police road pirates, as the video description says here. I just hit the post button on our Facebook and Twitter. So if you have yet to see this video, you can now go there and easily link over to it. It's uh, it's really, I think, it's entertaining um, simply because... You know the uh, the cops don't realize what they're getting into. You know, they don't know who knows their rights usually in advance, and so John and Cat both you know refuse to answer invasive questions. And you get an added bonus commentary track of the three and a half year old who's <laughs> sitting in there asking all kinds of uh, good questions and making very astute observations about the grave danger that these uh, armed women are putting their family members into here. And I want to go back to John, but I also want to invite you uh, to come to Keenvention. Keenvention is coming up in October, October 30th through November 1st. It's an activist convention. We're actually going to have a cop block panel uh, hosted by JP, who is one of the more active cop blockers up this way. And I'm sure he'll put together a panel of excellent liberty activists to comment on uh, knowing your rights and and uh, and expressing them and standing up for them in these encounters with the police, which is what John and Kat did such a great job of, and that's why I wanted to share it here on the radio tonight. Uh, John, you've been really busy with the uh, the bookstore. You last time we had you on the show, you had uh, come on during the Bitcoin bus tour that you picked up the school bus up here in New Hampshire. You drove it back down to Austin, Texas, and pr- proceeded after that to buy a bookstore and. I'm sure throw about all of your time and yeah. effort into it. How's it been going? I, I mean, obviously we haven't been down since uh, earlier this year. Um, it was really cool. We we got to visit the store before you took it over. Uh, you know, what's it been like? Oh, it's been great. Uh, sales are doing well. The community's thriving. We're putting on a whole lot of events. Uh, this month is actually back to health month, and we have uh, natural health events all week. And we're going to be doing a mini conference at the end of the month called the Underground Health Expo. But we got a lot of radio shows that are broadcast here. Some of them play on LRN, like the Crypto Show. Yep. Uh, they're actually interviewing Ross Ulbricht's father, uh, Kirk, and his sister right now. They're here in town. Of course, Ross is from Austin. Uh, we're big supporters of Ross Ulbricht and the work that he did and uh, trying to find justice for him and the appeal and everything like that. But it's beautiful to have a space here in Central Texas that's going to be nine years old at the end of this month. We're having wow. a nine-year anniversary celebration party. And it's really helped uh, Central Texas to become one of the premier destinations for liberty activists up there with the Shire, of course. Yeah, I think it's great. It's a cool little store. Brave new books. Do you guys do online sales? Could somebody who's not in Austin uh, buy some books from you? We are going to be launching our online store at the end of the month on the 28th, I believe. And I fully intend do some advertisements with Free Talk Live. It sounds like a great uh, bang for the buck uh, to get the word out to the community about what we're going to be offering. So, yeah, we'll have all a, a good chunk of our books for sale, and we'll also have a ton of great natural health products like Longevity and all sorts of colloidal silver and essential oils. And John, what, to, uh, to, what's the website right now? I know your store's not online, but uh, I'm sure you got the, a website. What's, uh, what's the site for the store? That's bravenewbookstore.com. Dude, you're awesome. Thanks for uh, standing up for your rights uh, on the uh, the roads of Austin with the police. Anything else you want to add about the experience? Uh, it's, it's a low-risk opportunity if it's a traffic ticket. Um, you know, you don't have to be totally nasty and, and threaten them. And I did the typical, you know, I turned the light on on the inside to start the, actually, I don't know if I did or not, but I did turn the car off and put my hands at 10 and 12 or whatever, 10 and 2, um, so, you know, you can flex your rights, but it's also important to uh, engage in uh, mannerisms and a body posture that doesn't make them feel like their safety is threatened. That's not yeah. going to keep you safe, but I think the more of us that flex our rights, uh, the less likely it will be for police to harm others. Good advice from John Bush in Texas. Uh, thanks, John, for your call tonight. I appreciate the uh, the dial-up because it was a perfect touch uh, to, you know, finish up to this discussion. Thanks for the call. We'll go to Mike in the meantime in Nevada. You're on Free Talk Live. Mike, what's on your mind tonight? Hey, how are you? Welcome, sir. You're on the air. Oh, cool. 
Um, hey, listen, I, I'm just telling you, you know, you. I don't know what kind of people you have policing your streets in New Hampshire, but I'm telling you what, any, time, any place out west, you go start filming a cop when they pull you over. That's reason number one to beat your ass. And uh, wow! And then, and then you start asking any questions, then they're going to beat your ass even more, and you're going to jail. It doesn't matter. Are you saying this has happened to you in uh, Reno, Nevada, yeah. where you're calling from? Hell yeah! And what was the circumstance? I well, I got I got picked up for a, for a stupid uh, fifty or sixty three and a fifty five mm -hmm. zone back. This was in the eighties. You know, when they change the speed limits and all that. And as I was getting, I posted my bail because I had money in my account. And as I'm, as they're filtering you out, then uh, I noticed a friend of mine that was, had been picked up because she was DUI on her birthday or whatever. And so I said, hey, good looking. And you know what they did to me? They put me, they chained me to a, a, a chair put a motorcycle helmet on me, and then beat me over the head with, with billy sticks. This was after you got out of jail? As he was getting out. I was I was on my way out of jail. You're literally, and, you're, you know, you're, where were you physically when this happened? You were outside was, of the jail? Walking out? No, no, I was still, at, I was, they were filtering you out, you know, because you go in and then. You're being processed. Then, you're being processed for release? Right. And you said, and then you get processed out. And you made some flippant you know? comment to someone you knew who you recognized in the yeah. jail? And right. Then, then they proceeded to beat you. How does you being beaten in a jail translate to uh, someone being beaten because they recorded a police stop on the side of the road with their smartphone? Well, it's, uh, I'm, just, I'm just telling you it's going to happen. Well, it sounds like fear-mongering. I, I mean, it really well, sounds like fear-mongering. I understand that it's Has possible. anything happened since the late 80s to you? I mean, is it just one circumstance that's given you this uh, impression? Well, you know, I'm not a criminal. I'm not a criminal, you know. I, I didn't pay a goddamn speed. Oh, you, you really can't say things like that on the radio. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to dump you on that one. I apologize about that. Uh, some stations get kind of upset about the GD. I don't like the GD word. Yeah, so... Um, Look, I'm sorry. It certainly is possible for the police to pull you from your car and commence a beatdown on you if you decide that you want to record them. That's a possibility. Is it probable? No. No, it is not probable, especially it's not probable if that cop knows that he's being broadcast live. So there's a, a neat little app for pretty much every smartphone, I think, uh, called Bambuser, B-A-M-B-U-S-E-R. I recommend you download it. Go ahead. When you get done driving, wherever it is you're going to, first thing you do when you get away from the wheel is uh, download Bambuser onto your phone and get it set up. It'll take you a moment. you got to create an account, uh, and then you got to log into the account. So there's maybe a five, ten minute long setup process here. Once you get it set up, then Bambuser is basically two touches, and you're recording. You have one touch, opens Bambuser. The next touch is you touching the record button. And then as long as you are within data range... You know, if you get a data signal, yeah, you are broadcasting live to the Internet. So if the cops pull you over, you can tell them, officer, I'm broadcasting you live. This I'm broadcasting this live on the Internet. Say hi. And then the officer will know that whatever it is they say or do, it's out there. It's not like they can just smash your camera and make all of that go away. They're not going to have access to your Bambuser account. You're right that that's the case. I wonder whether the officers sort of internalize it. Like, human beings aren't that great at hearing new information. Okay. They're much better at interpreting it into old information. Well, again, if fear is going to immobilize you into oh, doing no, anything— Oh, no, it's not going to immobilize me. I'm no, going to do that. I understand that. But that's what our caller was, was putting out there. He was putting out fear, uncertainty, and doubt about this— and based on some sort of interaction he had with the police in the past. Look, I understand the cops can be violent. They can be dangerous. But one of the best ways to prevent them from being violent and dangerous is to record them and to let them know that they are being recorded. They are more likely to change their behavior for the better. I've seen it happen time and time again. And no, it doesn't mean that the cops in New Hampshire are better, although I think they are. I do think New Hampshire cops are at the very least better than the Florida cops uh, where I come from. I can't speak for Nevada or Austin or 
any other place like that. So I do think they are cut better here, but nonetheless, across the board, wherever you are, recording the police is one of the most important things you can do to protect your rights and to protect the rights of others. If you want to cower and be afraid, that's fine. You can do that. We'll do the hard work of actually recording the cops. So... It's been Ian here with you. And Mark. And we'll be joining you again tomorrow night. You can join us online in the meantime over at freetalklive.com. If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most. StrategicShelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster. To find out more, visit strategicshelters.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Sciatica, lower back pain, hip pain, poor posture. If you suffer from any of these problems, get ready to relax. Introducing an amazing product that's been in the market for over 25 years, the Sacro Wedgie. It was invented by a football coach using a common sense osteopath technique. He created this device to help his athletes by isolating and supporting the sacrum, which is the keystone of our anatomy. This wedge-shaped bone is in the center of our hips, where a lot of pain starts. Simply relax 20 minutes daily on the amazingly simple Sacro Wedgie and let Gravity do the work, helping muscles rebalance and start releasing nerves. Sit in the sacro wedgie at the computer or while traveling to help correct posture to finally help relieve those stubborn aches and pains for only $33.95. It's made in the USA, so click the family-owned website at sacrowedgie.com, spelled S-A-C-R-O-W-E-D-G-Y.com, or call 1-800-737-9295. That's 1-800-737-9295. Relax your back pain away with the sacro wedgie. This is the Genesis Communications Network, GCN.